What's up, y'all? All right. Let me just make sure everything's properly functioning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Is that what today is? Wednesday? Yeah, it is Wednesday. All right, let me get my shit together here. Make sure all this stuff is working. What's up, dude? How you doing today? Good morning. That was an ab abrupt end to the music. Holy crap. Okay, here comes the next song. I just got to do a couple quick check. I think I'm good. It's been a minute since I've streamed, so. Got to make sure all my I's are dotted and T's are crossed. I need to turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and assume the music is not god awfully loud. Play with the volume levels here a little bit. From Middle Earth, aka New Zealand. What's up, dude? How you doing today? God, that's somewhere I've always wanted to visit, man. New Zealand. New Zealand and Norway are my two top destinations. I want to see those places so bad. How you doing today? So I just got to run through a bunch of these little checks, make sure everything, all the little knobs are twisted and where they need to be. Um, I think I'm good to go. Okay, let's do it. If I'm forgetting anything. Oh, you know what? Pre-flight checklist. Pod. Correct. All right. Pod is good. Ship. All right. Everything's online. I've got filament. I've got boosters. I've got paste. Let's go ahead and get Galva surge loaded. All right. Pre-flight checklist. Everything is good. Oh, did not mean to pop that open. Working night shift. Okay. You uh feel nice and energized after a day after a night at work, or, or are you feeling like um you feeling like absolute at night shift tears me a new one, dude. I I always struggle on night shift. I miss it a little bit, but not too much. Got dog hair in my mic. That's fantastic. Okay. Looks like let's get this party started. Oh, let me make sure these buttons. Okay. These buttons are working. It's time to party. It's been a minute since I've done some abyssals, man. I've been so busy any, any Eve doing stuff that I've not had as much time to run abyssals. Wow. Okay, getting screwed right off the bat. That is just phenomenal. All right. That is my luck, dude. Like, this is how I'm starting the day right here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch to T2 ammo. I absolutely cannot believe that. You know what? Might as well grab this since I'm here. All right, let's get guns on that. 43 million from the first box. Let's go ahead and orbit this guy at 500. Hopefully those snare casters get in range. Oh my God, my team speak thing is on. Hold on, I gotta get rid of that. All right, uh, I gotta get rid of the team speak overlay. That's gonna be obnoxious. Bring that over here. Let's see. Team speak overlay. How do I turn that off? I cannot have that messing with me right now. You know what? Let's sort by name. Maybe that'd be easier. Sort by name. Team speak. Team speak. Team speak overlay. Cannot find it. Fantastic. Dude, this is just like an awful start for me. You need a traffic safety. I'm, uh, I'm the truck you see with the huge jacks on the rear and cutting you off to <laughs> one of those guys, huh? Okay. Hopefully, uh, you, you keep pretty safe and uneventful work nights. Good truck with the huge X on the rear, the huge X on the rear. Why am I drawing a blank with that?
I'm drawing a blank on what you're talking about. Alright, I gotta figure out how to turn... Hotkeys. Alright, so now... Oh my god, Alt F1 is hitting the TeamSpeak overlay. I cannot have that right now. Alright, hopefully you guys can't see whatever it is I'm doing right now. Let's see, Eve. This I'm going to put as that. Alright, now that I've done that. <gasps> okay, we're good. This team speak overlay, overlay is killing me, man. What's up, Gustav? How you doing, dude? Good morning to you. It's basically do not pass. Oh, okay. It's gotta be a dangerous, uh, dangerous job because people are assholes, man. Like people are absolute assholes. And I just remembered what I need to do. Let's take that down a little bit. There we go. All right, he is at 19%. This guy is at 49% armor. It's a hell of a way to start my day. Absolutely fantastic. Blood egg, what is up, dude? How you doing today? Don't mind me, just taking forever, killing this guy, the usual. If this is any any indication on how my day's about to go, we're in for a rough ride. You should come back to Twitch. Current drop campaign drives viewers numbers crazy. Ended with twelve hundred on Saturday. Dude, I. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't do Twitch anymore, man. Like, I don't know if anything has changed on Twitch, but YouTube is so much better. You know? And the drops thing, like, I kind of got a taste of how the drop stuff worked after going to Albion for a little bit and having drops on Albion. I was like, eh, I, re I really am. I like YouTube better, man. YouTube is superior feel like going to twitch would be just completely like so i used to do a lot of giveaways um and when it comes to like giveaways drops like that if people are only watching you to get free shit or get drops what's the point man you know that's kind of the like i don't want to be forced to go stream on twitch which is a garbage site anyway just to have people who only want free shit watch me and not really care about, you know, I, I guess that's a weird take on it, but I'd rather have like people to hang out and talk with than inflated numbers due to people just wanting free shit, I guess is the way I see it. Like that's, that's not enough of a driving factor to get me back to Twitch. It's a weird take, I know, but kind of kind of how i see the situation i'd rather just you know can you not stream both no twitch doesn't allow that i don't know if youtube allows it or not but i know twitch doesn't what's up titan how you doing dude yeah i used to do a lot of giveaways and stuff and then i realized there are people that are only watching because they want free stuff they want giveaway stuff like it and it kind of took away from people who actually like enjoyed hanging out being part of the stream interacting and then Twitch drops is the same way. Like, where's the gate at? Okay, there's the gate. I need to get down here. I think bots were an issue, but not so extreme as I thought and had a lot more interaction. Yeah, I definitely see it as good, but I don't see enough value in going to Twitch. Like, dude, I can't stand Twitch, man. I don't watch tr Twitch streams. I don't, I don't hang, like Twitch is just not it, man kick looks like a freaking dumpster fire after whatever's been going on there lately but yeah i like youtube man you know what i really like about youtube you can go on my channel right now go to the live section scroll all the way down and the very first youtube live stream i did three months ago still there still there and that's why i like youtube 
or just one of the many reasons but yeah twitch uh youtube is superior and twitch drops is not enough uh not a good enough reason for me to go back to twitch so if you're out here for free shit you're in the wrong stream man all right we're at the 12 and a half minute mark right now this dude's almost dead please don't tell me i'm gonna go into i might as well go ahead and micro warp drive to the gate tell me this guy's gonna die before i have to reload right okay there we go he's dead all right let's go ahead get repair on that reload the galva surge turn that off and i've got 12 minutes remaining Woo! you can do it on twitch you just make highlight of entire pod yeah but people don't re-watch stuff on um on twitch you know like i just i can't put my finger on it but twitch is just i i can't do it man i don't want to i can't i'd rather not all right i'm gonna get t2 ammo loaded looks like this should help me pick up on some time here go ahead and approach that there are some extraction nodes they look like they might be next to each other let's see these two nope never mind none of these extraction nodes are next to each other that's a damn tragedy all right let me go get on the actually you know what let's go ahead and grab the loot here yeah youtube is better than twitch and here i am and this is what i'm doing i have no interest in twitch going back to it doing any of that crap youtube is superior 44 million right there thunder child's going down all right i have t2 ammo loaded right yes t2 ammo is loaded and i'm just gonna orbit the gate this is my chance to catch up on some time oh you know what i am close to that maybe i can go snag that real quick looks like these guys might be in range of each other okay two of them are in range of each other um so how about the yeah i got max skills for this ship um i maxed everything out for this ship a while ago actually you know what? i'm gonna just stay on gate i don't want to deal with running actually you know what no i've got time i've got time i can do it i can do it all right it is n not empty that's good approaching the extraction node 27 kilometers away i don't know why i just turned off my guns it's just a little re reaction there to thinking i'll still hitting the extraction node oh speed cloud okay yep this is definitely worth going for all right come on get there get there get there boom 7.6 mil all right now to take these two down of course they're not fan fest we did not mention burn guns at all ccp has won my heart and loyalty with the first person shooter um i think i still think they're gigantic moronic dickheads for the arena stuff but they have won points with the first person shooter and i'm not as angry with them but i still think they're dumb as hell and i still do not know what the hold up is we should be getting the crimson harvest event back um crimson harvest event is coming back in october i think it starts at the beginning i think it's running for a whole month but okay so that's that's promising the csp is like hey we're doing stuff uh but yeah the whole no proving grounds thing or no word of it still makes me think that csp has got their heads lodged really far up their asses and are not that bright um and winter yep winter nexus crimson Har crimson harvest all coming back thank god um that's good to hear like cool you're giving us giving us stuff all right i've got eight minutes remaining let's repair that do that and jump that man kind of sucks you came in 11th you were so close dude i know man like if one person oh thank god okay is there there is not i'm gonna go ahead 
and approach this extraction node. Holy tangling damn of Batman. All right, let's get Electro Punch loaded. I'm going to go for this extraction node. Dude, I was... So it boils down to the CSM stuff. Uh, Dujak One Eye. Um, I think he's a AT pilot or something like that. Um, for Brave or Test, I can't really remember which one. Um, but had I had an additional 223 more votes over him at that point in time, I'd be on CSM. So it literally came down to 223 votes, which is insane. I did not think I'd get that close. There's a lot of raging douchebag nerds that don't like me for whatever reason. They're like, you have no chance. I'm not voting for you. You suck. And it's like, dude, I was, I am like right there on the verge of being voted on CSM. So suck it, nerds. Dude, I know all the events. I, I mean, like I said, I think we might be on the verge of CSP finally getting their stuff together and bringing stuff back. Your first trig ship kill was an event at Trig Battle Cruiser and Lose. Wait, did you kill it or you were you flying that and you got a kill in it? What's up, Niklaus Farmer? How you doing, dude? Haven't been watching old streams. I'll do on Abyssal the past week. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the live action. You get to experience all the fumbles and mess ups as they happen in real time. Oh, what you flying in the abyss? What, yeah, what you flying in the abyss? What you got going on? You got rank 28. Dude, it's the secret is, man, you got to keep like, don't let up. Don't want, don't let one year of not making it on CSM prevent you. The more you run, the better chance you have, you know, you're literally the only channel I have notification bell on and YouTube did not. I don't know what I swear notifications. And this is the same between YouTube, Twitch, everything notifications. I swear they're like, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Okay. I need the camera. put the camera right there there we go that should be better yeah i don't know what the uh thank you for subscribing i appreciate you dude thank you thank you much appreciated all right that guy's down um let me go ahead and focus on damn evict actually yeah i'm gonna i need to get some of these freaking tanglings off me i think i'm good on time here what's up lj how you doing dude and now i got two market guys in oz and angry i don't I don't have any experience with angry. I don't know. Oz, I feel like Oz, I can go to him and be like, hey man, take this to CCP. I feel like Oz is a good person to have because you know I, I know him and if there's issues, like I feel like he's pretty open. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. So hopefully I can I I mean the downside to Oz is he's not focused, like he doesn't have the same interest as like you know, people I would represent. So he's not gonna go to CCP with the same fire and passion that i would because it's not his area he's you know his people he represents yeah that but it's not his strong suit you know so i hopefully he's a good candidate that can actually like you know take stuff that ha that's not in his interest to cease to be with the same passion to let cc know hey um this needs done your player base wants it rather than just like rather than just mentioning it passively because that that was one of my fears with someone like you know myself gustav not getting on csm was like okay we'll have decent people in there but they're not going to be true representatives that are going to bring stuff to ccp with like the passion that we need <laughs> just keep swimming what's up lucas how you doing dude storm here looks so relaxing as long as you don't get that damn battleship room you're good like this one i cut it kind of close man Three minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Almost finished training at the T, uh, to your T6 storm fit. Should be a nice change of pace to triple box. Dude, it is, it is very efficient and relaxing. The cost of filament sucks. I got 144 million for that one. The cost of filaments absolutely suck. But aside from that, it's a good, it's a good ship. Find the good old Gila on T6 exotic. Seems to be good money so far. Oh my gosh, man. I need to run. I need to get a T6 Gamma or T6 Exotic Gila going. That I was further more encouraged to do that because I just bought like 18 T6 electrical filaments and the filament cost sucks. Like I just spent a shit ton of money on T6 electrical filaments 
and I could have spent less if I was doing exotics or gammas. So definitely a downside. All right, let's drop all that. I'm going to put that in misc. I don't need that. All right, let's get another. I've got 20 filaments. What time is it? It is 1051 in the morning. I don't know if I'll run all 20 of these today, but I'm going to try. The difference between the flavors isn't so big. As long as you run T6, you're going to make 400 mil an hour net. Yeah, but how much is a T6 exotic filament? Like there's a good 20 million -ish difference between T6 exotic and T6 electrical, right? Like that's 20 million is difference between for each run. So it adds up and it never occurs to me until I'm buying the filaments. And then I'm like, holy crap, this is the, the running cost is expensive. But I need money. Current Gita sells about 31 million. Okay, yeah, so like I just bought 18 T6 electrical filaments for God, are you serious, man? Okay, well, this is stupid. I hate this game sometimes, man. All right, well, let's go ahead and get T2 ammo loaded. Like second sight of the day where I'm starting out with this dude first thing. All right, let's go ahead and overheat that. Get that on him. 23 million right there. Let's orbit him at 500. Exotics don't drop good music. Really? Oh yeah, I guess the the T6 electricals, they, or the unstable large cap mutaplasma is like 300 mil plus. Um, Please tell me this is a 50%. Oh my God. It is a 50% EM resistance penalty room, not a 70%. That sucks. I swear CCP, they know how much crap I talk about them and how much I hate on the stupid stuff they do. So like they're sitting there behind the computers while I'm streaming like, all right, let's give this guy a potato room. Let's make him pay for the stuff he says. I'm, con I'm convinced, man. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess the electrical, honestly, if I can keep this orbit on him, like if I could just keep him right here, um, yeah, electrical filaments, they drop the unstable large, cap um, capacitor muta or unstable large cat battery mutaplasmids are like 300 mil plus. I don't think exotics, any of their unstable mutaplasmids are... Yeah, none of the unstable exotic mutaplasmids are worth over a hundred mil. Seems to be shadow nerfing you. Yep. Like, oh, you're gonna sit there and talk crap about us. Hey, you know what though? Huge kudos to CCP on E Vanguard. Like CCP's mobile games and whatnot, like the four by strategy. Like, seriously, we know what that's gonna turn into. Nobody's excited, but their first person shooter. Holy crap! If they do this right, E Vanguard is going to be massive and it's going to be amazing. And I think as long as they don't like, I've been saying this over and over, we've got the, the cur the fear of the CCP curse with this new first person shooter they're coming out with. But I just, the idea, the concept, the setting, the gameplay, E Vanguard, the first person shooter looks like it's going to be the first thing that doesn't like, it's going to break the CCP curse, man. Like CCP has not done one single successful game outside of EVE Online in 20 years. And I think Vanguard is going to be the, um, the one that breaks the cycle. 
it's just it's really up to ccp to do it right so we'll see if it's as good as dust we're golden dude you know what's crazy for years i thought i wanted dust back dust is an amazing game i don't think games like dust are so are like i don't know i i feel like that genre is so saturated and it's not as popular as it once was and i think where ccp is going with an extraction shooter is really huge like and they're you know they have the ability to build off of it so they start with a good extraction shooter game right the good solid base where I feel like it doesn't have to have a gigantic player base to succeed, but it's, you know, it should have a decent sized player base. But you start with that. And if it's, you know, if it grows in popularity and becomes bigger, they can introduce team deathmatch, multiplayer, you know, or it's going to be multiplayer, but they can introduce stuff like, I think Tarkov did something like arenas recently. And I don't know how I've never played Tarkov, but basically Tarkov finally said, Hey, let's have like a team deathmatch type thing. And I think E Vanguard could really do that if it gets popular enough. Just a little side feature for people to do on top of the regular game. But Extraction Shooter, massive win for CCP, massive like potential. Uh, I'll tell you right now, CCP needs to take big advantage of content creators and not like, not Eve streamers. No, not Eve streamers. Don't. That, that's a dumb idea. Do not freaking try and put your focus on Eve streamers playing the shooter. The C speed needs to go to like the big guys. Like first person shooters are some of the most popular games in the world. The most watched streams. And there's some big names out there to where if C speed went to them and said, Hey, we'll pay you to play our game in front of thousands of people. Dude, you best believe that's going to get some traction. Yeah, I'm super excited for Vanguard. I think CSP is going to nail it. A little bit of fear behind the, uh, you know, just the typical CCP curse type stuff and how they handle it, how they manage it, how they go about monetization. But I think overall, massive win for CCP. Really good potential. And I swear to God, if we get a Valkyrie 2.0 where the game is really good and then they cancel it after a couple years... And we'll know it hasn't broken the cur break uh, hasn't broke the curse and it is CSP has not changed. The shooter has like 10% chance to succeed, but it's like 9.9% .9 more than the other. <laughs> I I do not want to get emotionally invested in a game and love it just to have it like Valkyrie was a really good game. And ccp happened and now valkyrie is no longer a thing and i'm like dude vanguard could be a really good game but ccp could happen and vanguard could be a game that just drops and dies all right i'm at 12 minutes 50 seconds remaining this dude is almost he's just at half hull so this dude's natural hull resistance okay they're all the same <sighs> Come on. Come on. 70% heat damage. Yeah, CCP's had what? Friggin' 12 years to perfect a first person shooter and get it right. So let's hope like hell they. I just want the entire lobby to fight over spoils from a tackle venture. Oh my gosh, man. Attack. Oh, I just took a big hit. All right, going in the reload. Couple more shots here. And he's dead. All right, what's he at? 80% structure. Yeah, I, the atmosphere, everything about an E first person shooter could be next level out of this world, like the craziest thing we've ever seen and the coolest thing ever. But monetization is a big fear. However, that's going to work out. I'm at 11 and a half minutes. Holy shit. All right.
right, so there is quite the potential for me to die in this room. Like I said, I think I'm talking too much crap about CCP and they're hearing me, so they're trying to kill me. Oh, maybe I should, uh, can we collect bodies? Okay, cool. We got this. This is, uh, this is good. All right. I just need to focus on killing these guys as fast as possible. There is a bunch of small stuff, so we should be good. Yeah, another overmind. I'm dead. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to keep T1 ammo loaded because it applies better to small stuff. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. 33 million. Loot's been pretty garbage. Spawns have been pretty... I, th I think CSP's watching in there. They're uh, they're taking it out on me for all the all the negativity I'm spewing at them. They're nerfing my drops and giving me bad spawns on purpose. Aim by yeah, the cheating thing. I really did not consider cheating much of an issue or think about it being much of an issue. But yes, aim bots and cheating. Hoping, dude. I, Vanguard hat. Like I said. Vanguard has such incredible opportunity to really throw Eve into the next decade successfully. It just like CCP really need, oh, dude, all CCP needs to do, make sure the cheating thing is under control, make sure monetization is not absolutely cancerous. And they need to really push marketing. What the hell? They really need to push marketing at these big streamers, man. Like any for any new first person shooter out there, normally the creators of the game have been smart enough to realize they need to get like Dr. Lupo, Tim the Tatman, Shroud, Dr. Disrespect. Like, dude, you pay one of those big streamers to play your game a couple times, boom, you've already got massive success because you just got your game out to a first person shooter audience that is massive, you know? Next room better be Lashax. Dude, I've got eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. These two wardens are gigantic. You know what? Let me fly this way with prop mod on. Maybe I can. Well, I guess now it doesn't matter. Oh my God. I hate these. Okay. I'll be playing on Saturday. I'm on call for work. Getting paid to play. Yeah, boy. There you go. <laughs> getting paid to play. Hell yeah. <sighs> what are you flying in fashion warfare? I, I lose a lot of ships. So I want a massive stockpile of ships. That's my biggest thing with faction warfare. Um, I've got like 3 billion. In, I mean, I don't fly the most expensive stuff. I fly is doctrine stuff that is SRP, but I just, I like having a massive stockpile. I lose ships a lot. All right, cool. This is not bad. Um, Cinnables, Dramules. All right. I need to kite these guys a little bit All right, I should be good is there any oh my gosh yes there are no Ixion so all these dudes are going to be right on top of me do I have the proper ammo loaded I do alright I'm going to try and burn away a little bit to get these guys grouped up maybe possibly where's the extraction nodes actually are any of these close to each other I don't know where either of those are. Screw it. I'm going for the gate. Did not have my prop mod on. Oh, that's because I am being scrammed. That makes sense. All right. I'm going to go for Cinnables. Hopefully everything's grouped around and it hits all of them. And I think that might not be the case. All right. I need to switch targets. I need to go for something in this pile. What is this guy? All right. I need to go for this guy. He looks more centered on the group. Yeah, there we go. A lot more stuff taking damage. I would watch the hell out of Dr. Disrespect and then slapped around Vanguard. Dude, like I'm saying, imagine the amount of people that watch people like Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tapman. Like if CSP goes to those big streamers and says, hey, play our game for 10 hours this week. We'll give you this amount of money. 
That is a lot of eyes on the game that CCP is working on. And that is so many potential new players. Like I, I just wish CCP has that in their head that that's what they need to do if they want it to succeed right off the bat. If they just want like, oh God, it's scary thinking about how CCP could screw this up. And it's like, here's the easy, like easiest thing you can do. And I'll see, uh, is Stormbringer better is than G Vagabond? That's tough. Um, gamma filaments are a lot cheaper, but they take a little longer than to run. I think it evens out. I think they both would be the same amount of is per hour. Your amount of profit per site in the Vagabond is more, but I can run more T6s an hour in the Stormbringer typically than I can the Vagabond. And also you were saying this, I'm super excited about Vanguard. I just hope it forms all the community and brings a new class of players. Either way, I can't wait. Dude, I, I'm stoked for it. I've got my fears, reservations, and everything, but overall, I could not be more excited. Like, absolutely stoked for, for E Vanguard. What's up, Tazuba? How you doing, dude? Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. What you got going on today? Anything crazy? I've tried playing with the Thunder Child. It's great in missions to all NPC scatter. Yeah, very niche use. The uh, ships like the Thunder Child, Stormbringer. I think I prefer running an Ishtar for T6 over uh, Stormbringer. Easier to fly. Yeah. my The one issue I have with the Ishtar is the freaking, the heavy drones, man. All right. I have four and a half minutes remaining. I am good to go. Stormbringer is just stupid easy. I don't have to worry about anything other than time when it comes to the Stormbringer. And that's what I like about the Stormbringer. But I feel like Ishtar is probably more effective and doesn't have like guaranteed kill scenarios like the Stormbringer does. All right, hurry up, Cinnable, go down. No lid, what is up, man? Welcome back from Iceland. How was the trip, brother? I uh I talked to the wife last night. E Fan Fest 2025 at but okay, I'll be 100% transparent with you guys. Um the reason why I did not go to Fan Fest this year, two reasons. One is the beginning of the school year and the end of the fiscal year for my job, so it's pretty hectic. Two, my wife and I were, you know, trying to get pregnant and everything. Um and Iceland just didn't fit in with that. Um, we thought we'd be pregnant by now. Um, but FanFest 2025, the wife and I are talking about it. The plan is to go. Things could happen and we could not go. You know, if my wife's pregnant or if we have a brand new newborn, we aren't going to FanFest 2025. But God, watching FanFest, I really want to go, man. No, and I'm, uh, no, my luck. I'm too scared to bring out the storm ringer, dude. So far, I am two for two for freaking overmines. Just at the airport. Damn, you, I thought you were back from Iceland already. Holy crap. You are still over there. Damn, enjoy every second of it, dude. Holy crap. Why is my phone? Okay. Ignore that number. I don't know. Ah, uh, mini tour. Yeah, my wife and I we're we're 29 years old. We've been married 11 years now. We're we're gonna have a baby eventually, and I I didn't want to plan it. Like we we went on a cruise earlier this year. We planned that because we knew, hey, we're not pregnant. We're not like we're good. But fan fest, that's something like going that far out of country and everything for that long. It's like ah, we're we don't want to plan that. But right now, as it stands. The wife and I want to go to Fan Fest 2025. We'll see. How many hours from now, Nolan, from right now, how many hours until you're back in Canada and like settled in? Running Anoms and high sec. Oh yeah, there's some potential for shenanigans there. Oh wait, what'd you ask Terrence? Sorry, I missed it. Does anyone know if Vanguard will be sub or free to play? 
if I remember correctly, Cespia said that if you are Omega in Eve, you can play Vanguard. I think, I think uh, Vanguard falls within your Omega status. So really curious to see how that plays out. Um, yeah, as as it stands right now, what CSP said at FanFest is that if you have an active Omega subscription, you are active in Vanguard. You're good to play. Tonight, once you're back. Okay. I can't plan anything this far out. Um, Yeah, I can't plan anything this far out. I'd have to wait a little bit. But I will know... Like when I'm when we're six months out from Fan Fest, that's when I can for sure make concrete plans. You sent some stuff for Faction Warfare, uh, Discord, or where'd you send it at? I'm so bad at keeping up with stuff. All right, this is the kind of first room I love to see. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go ahead and pop some of these higher hit pointed targets. Um, I bought me a high grade Hydra Serb the other day. Tried it in Dark Sing Exotics. It's working fine, but counting missile volleys is more annoying than babysitting drones. Oh, you talking like counting missile volleys so you don't because those missiles fire rapidly. So you're talking about counting missiles in the sense that you're not wasting any volleys. when things get closer yeah i'm definitely down for so i nolan one thing my wife and i might do which would be a little difficult for planning with you um if my wife and i go to fan fest we're most likely gonna do another like go there a week before it actually starts to do some exploring and get like an airbnb outside of reykjavik um you have contacts for airbnb for definitely for uh fan fest like the actual dates we're going to be in Reykjavik but before fan fest starts we're most likely the wife and I are going to go do some exploring of Iceland oh contracts contracts that's what you're talking about Titan I wish I had the brain capacity to do this stuff dude if I have the brain capacity to do this stuff I promise you do my mind is not the sharpest tool but I can do this. Oh, we got some alliance pings. What we got going on? Oh, never mind. This is just anything. Okay, no fleet pings. I'm good. All right, first room was easy. Ooh, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Two second cycle times and 50 kilometer range. Holy shit. All right, let's get Electro Punch. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Extraction Node over here. Is there any anchoring? There are. Never mind. Oh, you know what? Let's go hang out by this thing. Let's do this. There's going to be anchoring Damavix, so I'm not going to be able to pop my mic warp drive for too long. Maybe I can. Never mind. I'm 50 kilometers away from that. All right, webs are on me. I'm 45 kilometers away. I only have webs on me, no scram, so I might make it to the bioadaptive cache or the extraction node here. Nope, never mind. All right, I'm gonna keep slow boating towards this thing because I got plenty of time. Love the suppressors working like that. All right, are any of these guys taking damage? Any of these, none of the Damavix are taking damage. Fantastic. Okay. Well, Vedmax are almost dead. It's a little less of a pain in the ass for me to deal with. All right, let's get this Vedmax down, and then I got to focus on these anchoring Damavix. Oh, you have a two-year sub going? Damn. Things can be discussed. Is the Airbnb like downtown Reykjavik? Tara, what's up, dude? How you doing today? Good morning, possibly afternoon. What's up? What's up, dude? 
I am a. Uh, I've got 20 T6 electrical filaments. I would like to run all of the Dude, if I could get all 20 of these done today before I have to get off here, I'd be so happy. Like, I'm I'm finding myself needing a lot more ships in low sec for faction warfare action. And I'm constantly draining my wallet trying to restock my ships. Um, I'm losing a lot of ships in Faction Warfare Low Sec, by the way. Um, it's glorious, but the wallet's also taking a decent hit. So, um, or the Battle of Lebowski's. Lebowski's is the one. Lebowski's. That's not the one where it's right across from the, like, there's Lebowski. No, no. Okay. I know which one Lebowski's is. It's the one with two floors. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking of a different one. Okay, that's a good central spot. That's a really good central spot. I don't know if I'd I'd probably rent a car for a couple of days while while we're in Iceland. At least for before. Yeah, I want to do that again. So do T6 exotics drop siege mutaplasmid? Yeah, T6s all drop capital mutaplasmids. So they have the same drops that normal, um, like you can get all kinds of, um, like unstable mutaplasmids. T6 adds like, okay, for T6 exotics, you can get the, um, capital wait. Okay. Now you just got me thinking, cause there are not any capital webs or scrams are there. Yeah. There's heavy scrams. Oh, it's that same one that uh, Rachel and I went to, right? That same place, not the last fan fest, the same one you had with that big group of people, right? You and Arachnos were in there. Rachel and I came over and hung out for a little bit. Uh, I can't remember what exotics, exotics drop, T6s do drop capital mutaplasmids. I can't remember what the capital mutaplasmid versions of exotics are. Cause it's not like they're, it's not like XL web or what is there like a capital only web or capital only scram or disruptor? Cause if so, then those mutaplasmids drop in exotics. Okay. It's that same one. I'll say that was a really good, uh, that was a re really good little spot. Oh, right. Ooh, are any of these extraction nodes? Okay, extraction nodes are right next to each other. I'm going to go ahead and go for these. All right, let's grab that one. And then that one. I keep feeling vibrations. What the hell? Alright, really need these guys to get in range. I guess I can slow down a little bit, let them catch up. Let's see, you're gonna be in range. Alright, you're gonna be in range any minute. There we go. Someone's finally in range. Alright, I got the siege one from Exotic. I know like the siege. The siege are kind of like the damage mutaplasmids. Those drop in any weather, but I like each weather has its own specific capital mutaplasmids. Hey, 14 mil right there. All right, let's go grab this other extraction. Oh, I didn't grab it. Crap. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, get in range, get in range, get in range. Okay, now I'm flying away. Look at that. Grabbing the extraction nodes while killing all the NPCs, not even getting touched. This is exactly how I'd want any abyssal site to go ever. Look at this. There's still 40 kilometers. I'm just over here getting extraction nodes. Got plenty of time left. I have over 10 minutes remaining. All the NPCs are dead. I'm in the final room. Snagging extraction nodes. 16. Damn. 121 million. I got the last box coming up right here. You got a capital Nosferatu two muted the other day, but it's only like 130. Was it unstable or what?
Ooh, there's some exciting stuff going on with my faction warfare group. If I can get a capital mutaplasmid today, I'd be like an unstable capital mutaplasmid, you know, like a good one. All right, come on. Big loot right here. Big loot. Rock, what up, dude? 68 million. Okay, that's actually really good. Check this out. 190 million isk in 10 minutes. Thank God for those extraction nodes. That was a lot. How goes the storm shooter? First two rooms were really rough. Um, I got out of the first two rooms with like five, four or five minutes left on each. Third room got out with 10 minutes remaining. He goes pew pew. Yeah, Stormringer is great until it isn't. Exactly. Oh, contract. Duh. All right. Let's see what you got here. Finance, contracts. Ooh. Dude. Appreciate the hell out of that. These are some damn good rolls. Titan, thank you so dang much, dude. I've got a couple ships. I know I can throw this on to help me be a little bit more effective. Maybe die a little less. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Oh, let's see. I've yet to find any kind of capital mutaplasm. What's the average sites per capital? Dude, I have no idea. I get, I get capital mutaplasmids every once in a while but i've never gotten any really good ones like i've gotten unstables mainly i'm guessing or uh unstable. i've gotten um what was it called decayed i've gotten decayed i've never gotten an unstable capital mutas plasmid yeah they only drop in t6 under the vaga stormbringer is much faster but even i have the perfect skills for the fact that rng yeah Overall, so Vagabond and Stormbringer, my two solid T6 running ships, they both have their pros and cons. Vagabond, you're running gammas, much cheaper than electricals. Um, also, the Vagabond is a lot more piloting and interactive, so it's not as chill as the Stormbringer. Um, and then you don't have guaranteed kill room. Stormbringer, much easier to fly, but it's more expensive and there's a guaranteed kill room. I don't know why I just threw water on myself, but here we are. I did like 6k filaments, found three unstable capital mutas so far. Out of 6,000? Dude, how many? I have completed 369 T6s. I've never seen an unstable capital mutaplasmid. You have two un unstable and 600 gammas? Damn. Caribidus Tyrannos. Uh, let's see. All right. Nothing too alarming here, except for the fact that I just approached Caribidus Tyrannos straight on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get T2 ammo loaded. I'm going to lock that up. All right. I'm going to take these guys out, get the loot. There's no Webbers. Oh, there's Spearfishers. That's not good. Probably should have tried a little harder to avoid them, but I should be fine. 72 million right there from the first box. Beautiful. All right. I think at this point, I'm good to just focus on Karen. Because I should be able to get a tight orbit around her. And then these cruisers should get within range. Honestly, this many dissipators is a little alarming. I'm not, I'm going to go ahead just to be safe. I'm going to make sure I kill at least one more real quick before I really focus on Karen. Just to make sure I'm 100% safe, you know? All right. I think I'm safe to now overheat and put all damage on Karen. Let's see. We are in a 70% EM weather. Perfect. All right, now I just slaughter everything. I already got the loot.
It is 1126. I think I have to go at two o'clock because I got to go set up for an event. Also, they're not going to ship for every two six. What do you recommend? So far, the solid choices that I have, like that I personally have experience with, T6 Gamma Vagabond and T6 Electrical Stormbringer. Those two ships have my stamp of approval. Um, yeah, those two ships have my stamp of approval. I know there's a T6 Exotic Gila. There's a T6 Gamma Gila. Um, I T6 Firestorm. I'm we're all just kind of sitting ducks in that one. Uh, but the two I can personally say, hey, I've used these. They work. Yes. T6 Gamma Vagabond. T6 Electrical Stormbringer. Can't really speak on much else. All right. I'm going to... No, nah, never mind. They should. There we go. All of them are dying. Um, I imagine there's some T6-ish stars floating out there that do really well. T6 Gamma and Exotic Gila's that do pretty well. Um, what else? T6, probably a T6 Serb and, or a, a Serb for T6 Darks, possibly. I don't have any experience there. Um, yeah, Firestorm, I, I doubt anyone has a solid works great T6 Firestorm filament. Yeah, if I could get a capital, an unstable capital mutaplasmid, I'd be so happy. Is there a kill room for the Vagabond? No, and I say that hesitantly because a nasty combination of ghosting Damavix and Kikimoras is going to be very bad. Um... Oh, shoot. I just realized something. All right. Um, a nasty combination of ghosting Damavix is not a guaranteed kill, but it can get pretty rough to where if you make some piloting errors, you're dead. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, angel rooms can be pretty tough. But I don't, I think as long as you fly, like when I, when we talk about guaranteed kill room, we're talking like, hey, mathematically not possible, such as the guaranteed kill rooms for the Stormbringer. Vagabond, I as far as I'm aware, the Vagabond does not have anything like that unless you screw up. From my experience so far, I've not run into any issues um, where it's like, okay, yeah, there's no way physically possible to do this. But I know if, if certain set of scenarios can happen to cause you to die. All right. Are any of these near each other? All right. I'm going to go ahead and go for that. Did I just spawn in a speed cloud? All right, let's go ahead and cancel repair. Let's get an lecture punch loaded. I don't know what just happened. I, I went into this one very dumbly. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to say, dumbly. All right, I'm just going to turn the prop mod off. Grab the loot. And everything should be taking damage. I've got heat going on the starving Vedmac. Seven million isk in loot right there. Cool. Um, how do you do a Damavik Vedmac room? So pick off the tangling and ghosting Damavix. Um, I would say kill one or two ghosting Damavix right off the bat. And then kill one or two tangling Damavix. Make sure... If there is anything like a short range, medium range, uh, tracking pylon or a blue cloud, uh, preferably the multi-body tracking pylon, but yeah, use the environment if you can, uh, make sure when you're running T6 gammas with a vagabond, you have to pre-roll drop, right? I'm not crazy. It's drop. 
yeah you got pre-roll drop for the tracking um uses environmental effects manual piloting so you want to make sure you're manually piloting to get the most applied damage to the damavix because if they're orbiting you or something like i would say fly directly away from them oh shit i'm taking some damage here all right, let's go ahead and overheat that and one of those just to hold myself off for a minute. These Vidmax are starting to heat up on me a little bit. All right, I could probably stop heating that now just to reduce the amount of heat that's going. What's heat damage on this? 35%. Okay, Vidmax are almost dead. All right, I think from there, I should be good. All right, now it's nothing but damn fix left to kill and we're good to go. Solid. Mm. All right, one more room after this. I think no matter what, I am good on time. I'm going to repair that. All right, let's see if I can't get some of these Damavix. I am webbed and scrammed, so I doubt I'm going to be able to do much here to get these Damavix balled up. But at least I can do is move around a little bit. There we go. That's a beautiful hit. And boom. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start repairing this. Watch these Damavix be so ramped up. They absolutely just melt my shields as when I turn it off. Nope, we're good. Never mind. They ain't touching shit. All right. Two Damavix left. Yeah, those Vedmax hurt like hell. I was like, oh, cool. There's only three Vedmax. I killed the starving Vedmax. They're not going to be much issue. They indeed were an issue. Not going to lie. They kind of hurt. All right, one Damavik left. We're sitting at 10 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Dennis, what is up, dude? How you doing today? Oh, I got to keep an eye on Discord and make sure nothing crazy is going on. All right, I'm going to repair my guns. And reload. All right, guns are repairing a little bit. I got 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left on repair. Oh, yeah. All right. Go ahead and cancel repair on that. Let's approach that. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get T2 ammo loaded. I should be able to get to this. Is there any? There are anchoring Damavix. Cool. All right, well, hopefully I can outrun them a little bit to get on this extraction node. And there's all the effects on me at once. All right, let's start approaching that. And how many? Okay, there's only two Vedmax here. So I'm not too worried. I'm going to try and take out some of these Damavix and all this small stuff that's balled up around me. I'm going to go ahead and overheat. Because there's only two Vedmax, I'm not too worried about burning them down. And I'm like, eh, I can just see if I can't take out a bunch of the small stuff real quick. Just to get all these damn effects off me and the amount of them that I'm hitting. All right, there we go. Vedmax starting to take some damage. All right, let's kill another round of Damavix here. This could be like, this is not something I would do if there were more Vedmax, but because there's only two Vedmax, I ain't too worried about it. All right, let's go to overheat and get on that starving Vedmax. Let's approach that. Oh, yeah, but dude, I got, I got to really crank out some mist today. Got to make some money, you know? 
Yeah, dude, Vedmax are nasty. Vedmax and Kiki Mars, like out of all the Triglavian ships, Vedmax and Kiki Mars are the nastiest, dude. They, their damage ramps up so much. Lost your T5 Dark Munin on the fourth T5 run. Oh, T5 Dark Munin. Damn, was it expensive? How much Isk blew up? Man, I lost my game on Gila the other day and T3 left a Kiki ramp up. Oh, yeah. You blame it on Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Uber Eats delivering my food like I asked them to. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. Like, had the Uber Eats driver been a couple minutes earlier or later, you would have been good. But because he came at that exact moment. Rafa, what's up, dude? How you doing? <sighs> Yeah, this is not my normal stream time. I normally don't get to do stuff like this, but I'm off for the day. Uh, well, I say I'm off for the day, but I have to go prep an event later. So I basically have the entire morning to chill. So I was like, it's a good day to stream and make some money. Like, it is a fantastic day. Um, I need to get another jump freighter full of ships out to Losec for faction warfare action. And to do that, I need more money. Also, T5 Dark Serve and a T4 because I ran into a Sansa spawn that was all nudes. Dude, Sanchez? But damn, it was on a dark and they still got you. Holy crap. Sanchez are some nasty boys, dude. Like, I can't remember if you're supposed to kite them or brawl them, but if they've got nudes, they can really put some hurting on you. Munin with pants is like 1.2 build, and I logged in three Marauders and ran C5s and made that this back in an hour. Three Marauders? All right. I don't think the loot was that. 118. Um, Dude, I have just hit 2 million loyalty points for Galente Militia Faction Warfare. I have 2 million... And 80,000 loyalty points for Galente Faction Warfare. That's how how much I've been doing a Faction Warfare lately. The hell did I just click on? Okay. Floja, what's up, dude? How you doing? Where are the cute little dogs? They're napping right now. They are passed out on the couch. Oh, they're both cuddled up. Like, I have direct line of sight to my dogs. They're that way, and they're both just passed out, curled up on the couch. <laughs> How you doing today, Flosha? You joining your grinding standings right now? Galante, right? Gal Mill? The superior militia, right? 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 <laughs> oh, fight for Dana was heavy. Dude, that was. That was a. That. Like, I swear, we spent a good month working on Ninamalia. And the last week before we captured Ninamalia, it really cooled off a little. Like, I feel like Kaldari kind of... They didn't give up, but there was less resistance that final week, which gave us the push we needed to be able to get Ninamalia. God, that was a fun siege, man. Right now, we've got a lot of stuff, go a lot of stuff going around, like, going on all over the war zone. But that Ninamalia focus was amazing. You now know to kite them? Okay, kite Sansa. Yeah, because the nudes, duh. Dude, I will, like, honestly, this is my sales pitch to all of y'all. Faction Warfare, oh, just do it. It's so much freaking fun. Like, it's nice that you can... I, I don't know what's going to go on with the pirate stuff, but y'all, all of y'all should just do a Faction Warfare alt. Just... Just throw something in Faction Warfare to have some fun with on the side. It, it's I put in a lot of hours in Eve over the past like couple weeks, and it's all been Faction Warfare, and I'm I've been having a blast. But yeah, new pirate fa Faction Warfare with pirates. <laughs> Cow mill. Okay, fine. I'll I'll be sure to overheat extra hard on you. <laughs> CSP give seven days free. Megadar ramp seven mil LPN seven. Holy shit. 
In seven days, you got seven million LP. Angel and Garistas are superior. I don't know what my group's doing in Faction Warfare. If we're going to stay in Gal Mill or go Pirate. But either way, I'm all in. The first time my Eve career started to win fights this week in fair fights, Faction Warfare is good income and good source of PvE. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, fact like the income in Faction Warfare is actually nuts. Oh wait, I need to go this way actually. Alright, let's fly this way. Let's go ahead and get T2 ammo loaded here. Just to prep. Holy entanglers. Okay, I need to overheat the prop mod. Turn that on. All right. Hopefully this will let me burn past them and not get caught. Looks like we're good. All right, cool. I've burned past them. Let's turn the heat off on the prop mod. And let's get in range of Karen's big ass. All right, let's get this null warp down. Holy Karen damage. Uh, what's this guy? Entangler. F1. All right, we got two entanglers and a null charger left. Nothing I am worried about whatsoever, especially being this close to Karen. I'm going to get on Karen. I'm going to get on Karen, push her back to the loot. I'm going to bounce off the gate just like that, because why not? Um, yeah, let's get over here and get on Karen. All right, let's orbit her at 500 so I can catch up on that chat. Oh, going Greece's day one. Wonder how it works with Norma Greece's stand. It's gotten all that. I, the standings thing, my alliance has been talking a lot about it lately. And one of the big factors pushing us away from going pirate faction warfare is the standing situation. Dude, the first, we talked a little bit about the first person shooter earlier. E Vanguard, man. I am big hyped for E Vanguard. Like, I I harbor a lot of anger and distrust for CCP for things they've done, but Vanguard is a huge, major, gigantic leap forward. Um, to make me like CCP a little more. Super pumped for that. Yeah, I'm uh, one of the big things when it comes to the pirate faction warfare stuff. Where is the loot? All right, loot's right there. So I need to go over here. I need to drive Karen this way. So I need to mic warp drive right over here. I think that should do it to get Karen. Let's see. All right, that right there should push Karen toward the loot. Maybe I need to go up a little bit. All right, Karen needs you to get your large ass on the loot. All right, let's go and stop the ship there. All right, Karen's flying right to the loot. This is exactly what I need. And she's hitting me pretty hard. That was, she just hit me for 2,100. Also, I may have lost 0.5 billion slices the past few days. What the hell? I believe there have been new things as the new LP store for pilots. I, I'm hoping, kind of my secret hope with the new faction warfare group is that the deathless faction, that's the standing that is going to matter on whether or not you could join Garistas or, but I feel like that wouldn't make sense. 362 million from that box right there. Let's freaking go, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, good drop. Unstable large cap battery mutaplasmid in the cargo hold. Big money. So right now I'm at 362 million isk. Mm, I like money. That'll help me. That's that's a couple ships worth of uh explosions right there. Fiend, how did you uh how'd you lose that much in slicers? Is that all from Faction Warfare action? The death room, it's random. Yeah, it's completely random. Very low chance, but still a possibility. Are you going to add new faction like Dread Graces so everyone starts with no standings? I hope, dude, because I think I think it's safe to say a majority of EVE players 
have bad standings with Garistas and Angels. Unless you run missions with those factions, you most likely have bad standings with them. All right, that was only the first room. We're just at the five minute mark. Karen's almost dead. I'm gonna go ahead and repair those. Yes, fight everything from Rifter. Dude, you are a hero. That I love that mindset. Fight everything, take it all. Either you die or you get an epic win that, you know, especially if you're the tackler. All right, what we got? Okie dokie. Um, let's go ahead and burn to that. I'll see if I can't. All right, we got a couple of Vedmax. That's going to be problematic. I'm going to approach the extraction node. Let's go ahead and try and take out these Damavix. I'm going to go ahead and focus on these Damavix since they're going to be in range sooner. And maybe I can take out a good amount of these Damavix before the Vedmax start becoming an issue. All right, give me one second. I got to focus on this for a minute. All right, there's a Damavic down. I just need to keep burning these guys. We're almost at the extraction node. All right, after this little group of Damavics go out, I need to take out the starving. Okay, starving Vedmac time. Oh, you know what? I could pop him real quick. Okay, or not. Good God. I thought that was just going to be a one hit KO there. It was not. There we go. Okay, a couple less Damavics for me to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this Vedmac now. Just gonna keep overheating. Learn the hard way how Kiki moves fair against them. Dude, Kiki Moras, man. Those ships are nasty. Unless you can like burst it down real quick. Kiki Moras suck to come up like again in PvP. I think a lot of people might need to create new characters. Honestly, though, I've been having a blast with I have a brand or not a brand new, but I have a faction warfare alt now that is pure faction warfare. 18 million skill points right now so it's a work in progress but my pure faction warfare alt and i've been having an absolute blast with it i don't have to worry about anything else that is literally that guy sits in low sec i use my jump freighter alt to bring stuff and not have to worry about the faction warfare stuff yeah having a pure fw alt has been like so much dang fun like I've been, I've been enjoying it a ton. It's been insane action. You have six characters, Grease, Grease the faction pullers. You tell me you're going to put six characters in Grease this faction warfare. You've got on 0.5. I've got 0.5 bill on kill boards with them too. Damn. Okay. So definitely worth it. You win or you learn. I'm, I'm a really bad PVP -er, so I learn a lot. The Greases the Angels will be in a faction called Deathless, which is that faction warfare group. No current standings will be related to them. See, that's a good hope. Oh, that, that's what it's going to be like. There'll be a new faction. So it's not going to be tied to the already established standings that players have had for the past. Just profited a whole 70 mil from two. I really got to, holy crap. 70 mil from two T6 exotics. And the unlucky draw of the day goes to you. Lasers with blaster tracking speed that spool up. Sounds broken. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, even if it misses the shot, the damage still ramps up. Oh, I'm in an orange cloud. That's not good for the old shield repper. Yeah. Even if you miss the shot with the Kiki Mora, the damage is constantly ramping. Oh, let me show y'all. Check this out. Hold on, I'll pull this up in a minute. 120 million from that one? Oh my god. Dudes, check this out. Two rooms, 491 million isk. Woo! 
dude. Let's freaking go. I've got one room left. I've got 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Hell yeah. All right. One more to go. Oh, check this out. So this right here, that is my faction where for ult and that's the kill. Okay. Okay. You know what? Abyss, you can just straight suck my ass. All right, I need to get damage on this dude ASAP. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and snag the loot. That way I don't have to, like, come back for it later. This is a 70% weather, right? Yep. All right. The Abyss is really... I have 10 minutes remaining. 43 mil right there. All right, so I have 530 million isk in loot. And this is what I get. I've got nine and a half minutes remaining. Is there a blue cloud or anything I can put this guy in? Nope, there is not. Whoo. All right, nine minutes, 15 seconds remaining. I just need this guy to go down. I need him to die in like ASAP. All right, I'm going to overheat my prop mod for a cycle. Hopefully get these dang. Oh, I need that fog caster down too. All right, I've got two snare casters and a fog caster on me. I need those guys to go down. Whew. All right, eight and a half minutes left. 530 million is loot in a cargo hold. All right, one snare caster left. I'm right next to the gate. If I could just keep this orbit on this guy, I'll be good. This actually really sucks right now. Eight minutes remaining. I got to just keep heat on this dude this entire... Like, I, my guns are going to get up to like 80% heat damage. I, I hate this. Eight minutes remaining. This dude's at 80% armor. And I got 530 million esk in here. Whew. All right, come on, bud. Just go down. Just die. Just die. Just die. Just die. Well, this is as intense as it gets right here, folks. Whew. I hate this game sometimes. Got two large skill books in a row the other day. Woo, man, that's an easy 600 million isk. Wish you best of luck. I appreciate it, man. I, if I die, I'm shutting off my computer and going somewhere. I don't know. Oh, come on. No, Pyro does not work on these. Have you already, yeah, I've already broken even with the Stormbringer. I think I've ran 60 total. Hold on. Let's do some rough math. Let's say I've ran 60 T6 electricals. Each one gives me 60 million is that 3.6 bill is I want to say I've ran 60 T6 electricals. Oh, how much is and loot do I have? I have 534 million is right now. I've got six and a half minutes. He's in 47% armor. We should be good. Should be. Ah, 38%, 40% heat damage on the guns. Oh, I want to do these extraction nodes. Look at this. Guys, look. These extraction nodes are right there. Watch the heat. I know I'm only at 42%. I wonder if I set, how fast is he going? He's going 254. Let's see damage at 45%, five minutes. I should be good. Gonna have to turn heat off. I'm gonna let these get up to like 70% damage and I'll turn it off. I 
I really want those extraction nodes, and I feel like I could try and push him towards that. Let's try something here. Let's set speed at 400. Let's heat damage at 55%. No, I'm 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 not gonna go for those extraction nodes. Heat's at fifty nine percent. I'm gonna just take him to the gate. I'm not gonna sit here and screw with extraction nodes. Heat's at sixty two. I'm gonna turn heat off on there because I'm a big wuss and don't want to chance it. All right, I'm gonna get him pointed at the gate, heading towards the gate. I'm gonna get him right on the gate, so I can just get out of here with my life intact. All right, he's turning. I need to keep him turning towards the gate. Oh, I don't have my freaking prop mod on. All right, I'm going to overheat the prop mod a uh, psych war two just to get him. Yep, I need to get up and around him. Dude, at this point, I'm right next to these. Holy crap. How much time do I have left? Four minutes. All right, he's stuck on the rocks real quick. I'm going to go for the... <laughs> How much time do I have left? Three minutes, 45 seconds. He's in hall. Ooh, actually, this could work in my favor because the gate... He should be approaching the gate momentarily. I need to go back to him, drive him back towards the gate. I'm not going to worry about that other extraction node. He's 18 kilometers away. All right, so I need to fly out this way. I've got three minutes remaining. All right, now I need to fly down here. I do not need him in that speed cloud. That would be atrocious. Actually, you know what? I should be good to approach the gate. Let's see, twelve percent structure. Two and a half minutes remaining. One more shot, and he's dead. Of course, I'm gonna go into reload because why not? Okay. Song's creeping me out. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are making it out of here with two minutes and 12 seconds remaining and a whopping 544 million is worth of loot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's freaking go, man. Woo. Let me go change my panties real quick because that got a little bit spicy. I'm talking like Taco Bell spicy on a Taco Tuesday night. I don't, it's the best I got, man. 544 million is in loot. That was insane. Whoo, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Needed that. Definitely needed that. It's Imperial Trick Shooter. What's up, dude? How you doing today? Hey, all I'm saying is I went for that extraction node and I survived. Hee hee. Oh, man. 544 out. Lizzie wants to come celebrate. Oh. All right, guys, we have a special guest joining us today. Oh, Lizzie, how's life going for you? You are not really. There we go. Let's let's pull back a little bit. Have the dog join us for a second, Lizzie smelled the excitement excitement in the air and wanted to come join all right we're gonna go ahead and put that there that there repair Whoo! we are making money today 
All right, Lizzie, I'm just going to reach over here real quick and do that. No, you don't need to palm me. I'm going to keep petting you. Don't worry. I would never dream of not petting you. That's that's not even an option right now. All right. I've already got one billion isk in loot. I started today with nothing. I didn't have any surveys. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have any of this. And I'm already at one. I think I had that, but that's only 17 million. I'm at a billion isk in loot. How long have I been at it? An hour and a half. I'm at a billion isk in loot. Doggo cam win, dude, right? Maybe I should get a doggo cam. Put a little doggy bed in here and just have a camera on them so y'all can see the shenanigans they get into while I'm sitting here streaming. Lizzie. What's up, girl? What's Sissy doing? You can go play with Sissy. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to put you down now so I can get back in the abyss and crank out some money, okay? And just like that. Oh. <gasps> Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, doggy cam. That's not a bad idea at all. I don't know. Pretty sure there's a way to hook up a second camera. I probably need like a. I, I think I think every port on my PC is occupied. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, every single port on my computer. Hey, Lashax, what is up, y'all? Come here. Have I got something for you guys? See all these little shacks right here? Nah. And just like that, one more shot and they're going to die, right? All right, there's two Lashaks down. And let's go ahead and approach that. One more shot and that takes out a good portion of them. Boom, we got four. Oh, oh. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish off those Lashaks. All right. And just like that, we are complete. I mean, I, I still got these two guys to take out, but. 29 million-esque. All right. We are done with the first room of this site in just under one minute. On to the next one. Very cash money. I like it. All right, let's see. Ghosting, 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 starving, tangling, tangling. Unlock that dude. Get that guy. Let's go get T2 ammo loaded. Let's go and approach that. Super moist, yes. Absolutely moist, that loot. Especially when it's 544 million esque. Mm, that's what I'd like to see, baby. Yeah. Sorry, got a little weird there for a second. <laughs> Gives plenty of time. For a potato room with a T6 gaming gill. Is there another T5 T ship? Uh, T5, T6, that ship could run. So you're not going to use the same, like if you're running T6s in a, in a gamma, most likely you will not be running another T6 weather in that exact same fit. Um, I don't, I mean, I, I can't say that with 100% certainty, but I'm, I'm like 95% sure if a ship works for one T6, it's not going to work for another T6. You got to like have a different uh, setup, but uh, Gila T6s you're looking at um, gammas, exotics. What else? Um, electricals could probably work. Pretty sure Gila can do those without much issue. My ship is barely. All right. I want to kill these damn evicts. And then I'm gonna overheat on the starving Vedmac. Would love to actually be able to move my ship around. We're going 50 meters a second. At this rate, I'll be at that extraction node sometime tomorrow. All right, I wanna get, let's get these tangling. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start overheating on the starving Vedmac. Hopefully other stuff takes damage along with it. All right, 
we are still inching our way at 124 meters a second 12 kilometers to go till i'm on this extraction node we'll get there eventually ladies and gentlemen please stay tuned for me to freaking get something done here Hey, that anchoring is about to go down. Once that dude's down. Ah, of course he's not in range of that starving Vedmac anymore. Because why would he be, you know? All right, one more shot on the starving. I'm going to pop that anchoring. There we go. Of course, that anchoring barely has anything left. All right, now I can pop the prop mod. See if I can't take that guy out real quick. And he's going to live one more shot to go. I still got two Vedmax to deal with. I've been ignoring them. All right. And just like that, we've got nothing but Vedmax left. Ah, I guess one Damavik. Okay. 7.6 mil. All right. Let's fly up this way. We got heat going. All of them are taking damage. All right, now we are doing really well. Both Vedmax are taking damage. That's all that there is left. We've got a whopping 15 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So we are doing absolutely golden on time. Oh yeah. And one Vedmax remaining. 45 million right there. Not as good as what I've seen in the past, but we'll take it. And approach that. Gotta afford that kibble. I see you using mid grays. Iscariot, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. See you using mid grade crystals. Does Gila and Serb also manage with mid grades? They need high grades. Trying to share a clone. Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think what Tante is saying, I think, he, I think the Stormringer is the only one that can get away with mid grades and T6s. Because the Stormringer has that natural, like, really high shield resistance and whatnot. I don't think any of the other ships... I think you have to use high grades in the other ships. With other ships, Ikki's and getting common to ruin your day without high grades. Yeah. Unless you're flying the Stormringer. Oh, my God. <laughs> CC, please. getting pretty damn ridiculous man i'm gonna hit some kind of record for most potatoes seen in one day of running abyssals all right let's go ahead take out the loot get t2 ammo going is this guy on the loot i think he is to then 31 million not very impressive all right let's get an overheat guns ladies just got <laughs> their potatoes back <laughs> oh shit <sighs> <Fucking lame. laughs> that was good i'll give you an eight out of ten on that one oh shoot but i've got plenty of time so we're just gonna sit here and chill and chat You game a Gila uses in T6s, you use mid grades? Wait, actually, I guess the Gila does get um Yeah, 4% uh, shield resistance. What's the Stormbringer get? 6%, right? Yeah, 6%. Okay. Damn, so mid grades works for you. <sighs> yeah, I don't worry guys, I am taking all the potatoes for the day. <laughs> said lays called they want their potatoes back ah, that was good ah but yeah don't worry I'll, I'll take all the potatoes for the day guys you guys are safe don't worry everyone else you're good to fly storm ringers i've got the potato situation under control all right let's see what's going on I gotta keep up with the. Uh... Gotta keep up with the old Alliance Discord, see what's going on. I need this guy out of the speed cloud. 
let's see let's take him that way let's let's fly over here let's turn that off i need him out of the speed cloud so i can apply better damage all right you out of the speed cloud now oh can i bump him Let's see if i can bump him i'm going 5,000 meters a second so i should be able to bump him Ooh. okay we got i've got an idea uh, okay, I'm out of the speed cloud. Is he out of the speed cloud? He's going 1,600 meters a second. He is still in the speed cloud. I think I've just made it worse for myself. Why is he going so fast? <gasps> Ooh, I've got an idea. Can I, like, bump him out of the abyss? Look, I'm going 6,000 meters a second. All right, so I'm going to turn the prop mod off. Okay, well, I guess the good news is he's out of the speed cloud. So I'll do a little bit more damage to him. That'd be really cool if I could have bumped him out of the abyss. All right, now I'm going to orbit him. How far am I from the gate? I'm 66 kilometers from the gate. Thank God for that really good Lashak room at the beginning of the site. Not going to lie, loot's pretty pathetic, 114, but I did just get a lot of loot from the last site, so I ain't complaining. Oh. Okay. Nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining. I could heat more, I guess, but... I'm just gonna I, I think we're good here he's at 47 percent armor i've got nine minutes remaining based off the last site i did this guy should die and i should have like five minutes remaining so we're just gonna sit here staring contest all right in my defense there's a fan on in the room i'm in it's making my eyes really dry so blink it oh shit i almost blinked okay I won't blink. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, that was completely. Damn. Not blinking is hard. Here, I got a better idea. Here we go. Cinematic view. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. You've got the overmind of me doing a little dance of death. You got electricity going from me to the overmind. Look at that. Look at the little like, I don't know any really good smart art terms, but look at the beautifulness of that right there. Isn't that just incredible? I could be dying. Um, should probably turn the overview back. Okay, we're good. Ah, you're seeing more potatoes than McDonald's. Can we get some french fries in this bitch? Eight minutes remaining. He's almost out of armor. This is pretty gosh dang ridiculous if you ask me. But you know what? No matter what, today's a win. That one site with five... I'm 96 kilometers from the gate. All right, hold on. We got. I gotta fix this. Hold on. Turn that off. Fly. I. I did not realize I was ninety. Now ninety-eight kilometers away from the gate. I gotta get him flying back to the gate. I mean, I have a micro warp drive, so it's not the. Ooh, actually, that blue cloud might be nice. All right, potato. We're going on a trip. I need you to take a. A right turn with a slightly downward angle on that right turn. All right, let's pop the prop mod once. We are gonna slowly get back to the gate while you keep dying. I just gotta drive you there. All right, so I'm gonna keep this until, let's see, let's do right there. So I need to keep this path until him. Oh, 
All right, right there. Okay, I need to go this way a little bit. All right, from here, he should be flying directly at the gate. I'm going to go on the reload. We've got a whopping six and a half minutes remaining. I've been at this for an hour and 48 minutes, and I've got more potatoes than a damn freaking... I got nothing. Uh, I was trying to think of a really good follow-up joke there, but more potatoes than because we already said Lay's we said McDonald's what else has a lot of potatoes wow I've got nothing drawn a big old blank I will come back to that one there there's something there all right 70 kilometers away from the gate we're gonna be good on time I'm not gonna die he is at 39% structure Ireland there we go. Ireland. Do they have a lot of potatoes? Idaho. Idaho is known for potatoes. Germany. All right. Thank you all for coming in with the save. It redeems me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Idaho. I think Idaho is the one because... You know, potatoes come from Idaho. That's like the, they're like the biggest source of potatoes in the United States. I guess Ireland is known for potatoes, aren't they? I didn't know Germany was known for potatoes, but I guess they do make a lot of potato based. We're getting really hung up on. I almost said tomatoes, potatoes. This, <laughs> this guy's about to be a tomato. You know what I'm saying? About to get swashed. All right. Speed cloud. Fantastic. Please tell me we're not about to slingshot around him. Okay, there we go. Get me out of here. Get, get me out. Go. Ooh, that's a good cinematic shot right there. Beautiful. And just like that, we have made it out alive. I swear I have gotten enough overmines to cover the rest of the day. I should not get another overmine for this entire stream. It's currently 12. I've got about two and a half hours to go. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go the rest of this stream without seeing one more damn single overmind. But we'll see. We'll see. My luck has not been that fantastic so far. Am I not worried about gangs? Eh. I've been running abyssals out here for a long time and I've never been ganked. It's gonna happen eventually. It's definitely a fear. It's definitely like possibility. And I imagine one of these days it'll happen, but when it does, we'll just accept it and move on. Yeah. One of these days I imagine I'll be ganked, but hopefully today's not today and I live to fight another one. Yeah, when it happens, it's it's long overdue. Right now, I'm the only one in system. So, unless someone gives me a nice little surprise and pops in to say hi, I should be clear. Site number How many have I ran? Five, six? He's not worried about the death rooms. That is why would he care about being gay? <laughs> all this shit it all this bad stuff that could potentially happen, we're just rolling with it. This storm ringer has paid for itself, like I think I I mean at this point I'm in I'm really green with the storm ringer right now. Okay, that is six battleships. All right, just to be safe, I am not using my prop mod because I don't trust blooming my signature radius that much with, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna have to overheat. Yep, we're gonna have to overheat. That's a lot of battleships. 
All right, we've got heat on just about everything. I just gotta survive this initial shit. Oh my God. All right, we're taking hard shell. We're taking that. Yep, I'm not even thinking about using that prop mod because the minute my signature radius blooms like that, I am a big old bag of screwed. Okay, holy shit. That was extremely scary. Six battleships? Like, give a guy a break. Good God. I survived. So there's that, but damn. Ooh, extraction nose. Let's go grab those. Well, that was fun. All right, I got to repair some of these modules. I'm going to repair one hardener and the other thing. Can you all please group up? Like, come on. Everybody group up. All of you guys right now. Follow the leader. Start playing right now. That would help me out a bunch. We can just get through this quickly if you guys would just group up and stop being difficult. All right, let's go ahead and grab this one first. Dude, I can't believe I just ran into that many freaking battleships at once. That was hell on the abyss. I was about to say hell on earth, but we're not on earth. We're the, in the abyss, so. Go ahead and check ourselves before we rickety wreck ourselves. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get that guy down. F1, please work. All right. 12 million in that ex extraction node. The good news about this room is that um, it's really quick. It's like, instead of a long, slow, painful torture, it's like really fast in your face and then you're good. You're good, you're done, you're safe. All right, let's repair those modules. Keep the prop mod going, go to the bioadapted cache. Whew. All right, all right, all right. Two more NPCs left. Of course they're not grouped up because they are a bunch of jackasses. Awesome. If you guys could like get in range of each other, that'd be fantastic. Do a little hand holding action for me. Or not. We're just gonna stay separated. Perfect. Guess I'll kill them one at a time. There we go. Finally something's happening. Finally they're both in range. Can you guys stay just like that? Alright, a little too little, a little too late, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and repair that. Put that on, turn that on. Pop the loot. 43 million, we'll take it. First room of the day, or first first room of this site, 64 million in isk. That covers the filament. That covers the filament and the ammo. So everything after this is pure profit. And it's only, I'm only at four minutes, so. Boom. Should you avoid faction warfare with your main? Uh, standings hit and like, you do not want to be running abyssals. If, uh, if you're in faction warfare, there's. Oh my God. What is going on today, man? Okay. We got four starving Vedmax. No biggie. Jesus. All right, let's approach that extraction node. Where's the other one at? All right, I'm gonna go after both these extraction nodes. I'm gonna try and keep some distance from these Vedmax for as long as possible. All right, never mind. There is the scram and the web. Four starving Vedmax. Like, I'll just go screw myself. Oh, right after the six battleships, man. The Abyss really has it out for me for the day. All right. Luckily, all these Vedmax. Or maybe not all of them, but. It looks like I am a wee bit safe. I don't want to oh, cap is 
getting low. All right, we got three Vedmax left. Cap should be good. All right, let's approach that. We got three left. One of them's almost dead. Two of them's almost dead. They're all taking damage. That's be Is that guy stuck on the rock? <laughs> Dummy. Look at you stuck on the rock. Yeah, that's right. Idiot. Like I've never done that before. Um, man, it'd be really cool if I could actually like move my ship faster than 120 meters a second. All right, I'm going to see what these damn evicts are. Okay, you know what? Damn evict killing time. These little tanglings and anchorings are holding me back from my full potential. So just like that. Wow, they are dead. That blue cloud is amazing. Holy crap. Blue cloud go. In case you were wondering, that noise was. All right, 15 mil right there. Let's go for this other extraction node since we've got the time and capability. Don't have anything slowing me down. So I'll be able to zip on through here. No issues whatsoever. You know what? While we're still in this blue cloud, I've got an idea. Go ahead and take out these Damavics while they're still in the blue cloud. Make my life a little easier. And then because this guy is taking a sweet time and not catch, cat, catching up. I'm going to switch to T1 ammo. All right, this one was pretty damn good. What we got? 2.5 mil there. And we're out of range. Fantastic. All right. Let's go for that bioadaptive cache. We are done. 12 minutes remaining. Turn my mic warp drive off for some wild reason. Let's see where we at here. All right, so I need to go over this way, get out from under the rocks. Go ahead and repair that. Turn off the shield booster. Fly towards the bioadaptive cache. Oh, it's uh definitely something. This uh this site. Six freaking eating com battleships and then four starving Vedmax. What's gonna be in the finale of this one, man? Just getting clobbered over here. 30 million right there. Puts our total at 113 million isk. I probably could have repaired my prop mod, but whatever. Then Eastwood, uh, an alpha character is capable of doing anything in faction warfare. I, my, my faction warfare all is subbed. I can, I, I've got enough. I've had enough plex saved up to where I can afford the Omega comfortably. So, Ooh, thank you. I remember disconnecting and Ekin getting saved because you ran inside rocks instead of outside arena. That's the only time I will thank the rocks for saving me. I forgot about that one. Other than that, I hate getting stuck on rocks because it hurts. But okay, so the rocks occasionally do have their uh, their selling points, but overall getting stuck on ooh sweet we're right here next to the border cool all right let me grab this extraction node and then continue pew pewing at all these guys all right if i could oh we got some wardens right here on us all right let's go ahead and take that guy out grab this 10 million right there where's the other extraction node at right there we'll go ahead and go for it why not I've got plenty of time. I don't really have much that's going to be holding me back from going for that extraction node. So why not take it? It's very low standing extra boyfriend, unless you really care about having positive. I don't really know if I've, yeah, I don't think my standings have taken too much of a hit, but it's just so much easier to have a dedicated alt for faction warfare. Cause I can just leave that alt in the war zone. I don't ever have to worry about like, I can do all my logistics with my, my jump freighter alt. Um, it, it's just, yeah, it takes a lot of the 
pain of having to worry about anything else. Like I could come here and run abyssals on this character, not have to worry about faction police or war targets like coming after me or anything like that in high sec. Um, yeah, it's just a very, it's just su such an easier way to handle everything. All right, I need to lock up this so I can snag it. How much does it cost for the filament? Uh, filament, 55 million isk a piece, ammo. I'll say I use 1 million isk worth of ammo per abyssal site. Because the T2 ammo, it's 9,000 isk per shot. Eh, it might be over a million isk. All right, let's get Electro Punch loaded. Go towards that. And let's get on this dude. He might be a good center point to hit. Hey, I was right. Look at that. Where, what dude is this? He is right there. All three of those guys taking damage. Let's go ahead and go for that biodap of cash. This Sentinel out here, special Betty over here, just doing his own thing away from the crowd. Like the annoying pain in the ass he is. I'm going to have to deal with him last because, of course, he doesn't want to hang out with his homies. That's just great. Everyone else taking damage. Special Betty there is just away from the pack, doing his own thing. He's that guy that can't follow directions in a fleet. There's always one. Okay, now he's getting back with the group. Cool. Thank you. All right. Ah, speaking of rocks, what do you think of the part in the presentation where they spoke about uh, losing lock when passing behind environment? I don't like the thought of that at all. Losing lock when passing behind something? That sounds awful. I did not hear that. That doesn't sound like a good idea whatsoever. Because I feel Eve is a very different game. Like in some games, like Elite, Dangerous, Star Citizen, that makes sense. But Eve is not those games. It's different. So I feel like that would be a pain in the ass. Like it's not like a... Eve isn't like a tactical space sim. So I don't like the idea of that. Losing target lock if they go behind environments. What tier abyss does it become worth running T3? You mean like what? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Like what? At what point does abyssals become worth it? I mean, they're worth it at every tier. You don't really start making good competitive money to other aspects in Eve until T4. Like T3 is very, you get like 60 million isk an hour running T3s, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, T4s is where you start getting to 100 million isk an hour and it starts becoming like, okay, I'm making good money. This is, this is good. T5s and T6s, that's where it's like, okay, I'm in the upper tier of is per hour compared to a bunch of activities in the game. This song is smacking right now. Holy crap. Was far in the future. Okay. Talking about graphics and shadows. Ten uh T0 fix is the same as mining or better than mining in high sec. Alright, let's drop the loot. How much did I just make? I made 180 million from that one and two ship blueprints worth a decent little bit of money right there. Okay, I'm digging this song right now. Holy shit. 14 filaments left. Check this out. So I started with nothing down here. 1.3 billion isk in two hours so far. 1.3 billion isk in two hours of Ronin T6s. I know I got that one room that was like 500 million isk. That's wild. But I'm at 1.3 billion isk in two hours of running. Whew. This song is really smacking. Holy crap.
Yeah, I'd say T4 is a really good spot to where it's like, it's at the average isk in game compared to other lucrative incomes, but you're not risking a lot. You know, it's not like, you know, you're investing billions of isk in a ship. I'd say T4 is the nice little comfortable spot. T3s are mainly just a, you know, it's the lower end income, but it's mainly to get you ready for T4s. Okay. Dear Abyssal Gods, if I could go one site without getting potatoes or six battleships, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. All right, here we go. Woo. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This song I'm listening to, I hope you guys can hear it. It's absolutely just, it's really good. You guys hear the song at all? Here, I'll turn it up a little bit. I don't know. It's just really cool sounding. I'm. Um, what is this? Oh shit! Speed cloud. All right, let's stop the ship. Am I gonna stay in range? Nope. I'm out of range of all of them. Next room, dude. I swear to God, don't jinx it, please. Please don't jinx it. Let's get that. Okay, we got damage on these guys. We're good. We got 3 million out of that extraction node. I want to I want to keep kiting these guys. All right, that sh that song was an absolute freaking banger. Holy crap. Can I play that again? Okay, I need to get in range of these guys. I got to quit screwing around. Okay, we're out of the abyss taking damage right now. All right, I'm out of the speed cloud. Let's start hitting whatever we can. Let's go ahead and start approaching that. And just after that banger of a song, the music stopped. All right, and we're back. Um. All right, let me give me a second to get my shit together, get caught up here. Look. What do I have loaded? Electro punch. All right. I need to kill Sentinels. Honestly, I'm taking them all out at a good rate. I like this. Neil, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Um, all right. Let's lock that up. Let's turn that off. Save a little bit of cap. All right. That guy's down. I need to kill these Sentinels. That's... A little bit of cat pressure off me once I get those sentinels down. The watchman's almost down. A lot of people taking some damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fly this way so I don't have to. Come on, get in range of the bioadaptive cache. All right, what else do we have? You know what? Let me just let me just pop this real quick. Let me just go ahead and take care of that. All right, I'm going to take out the sentinels next. Actually, never mind. This upholder is already low. Let's go ahead and pop him. Hopefully hit some other stuff. There we go. All right. And now things are dying. That's what I like to see. Well, we got 36 million. I've seen better. And Sentinels. I got to take out Sentinels. Grinding away combat enums and a marauder just gets monotonous. Oh, dude, I get so tired of that crap. Missions. Um, yeah, missions, ANOM, stuff like that. It, it gets old and boring after a while. Kadir and Alicia can get away with being a main, but you still turn to high second to unsafe. Yeah, and that's why I do not recommend doing faction warfare on your main abyssal running tune. Because say you're enlisted in faction warfare and you want to run abyssals on the side in like Kaldari high sec. If one Galente pilot gets wind or even someone who's not even if someone gets wind that you are enlisted in faction warfare and running abyssals in high sec they could either enlist with the opposing militia or tell someone in the opposing militia who you are and where you're running and those people can come kill you easily all right I figure out what to do with the best after losing the munin only one i can't fly is the storm ringer 
The safe, easy bet is the Gila. Ishtar is a good thing, uh, good option to try. Um, honestly, I like the Serb over the Munin, but that's just me. If you're an enemy faction, the faction police will chase you. Plus, in high sec, enemies of the faction will hunt you. And if you try shopping at trade hubs, I've just been running Gamma Surge just for the range, and I'm lazy. I like using electric Galva surge is good for the, for farther range and, um, hitting smaller targets, but electro punch on bigger stuff works best. What would be a good shift to get in the T fours? Um, the easy route. Like if you just want to go the basic, easy abyssal route, the poverty um, the poverty is in the message of the day of the in-game channel abyssal lurkers and it's linked i've got a couple of videos on it um the fits linked everywhere i think um other options for the for t4 i mean you got a lot of options to the t4 you're not as limited as you are in t5 and t6s um but yeah t4 is in any heavy assault cruiser pirate cruiser really sniper bros what's up man why am i only streaming on here now dude youtube is so much better than twitch so much better than twitch um the ad situation on on twitch is cancerous the uh, there's so i, I don't know I, I just like youtube way better i can stream in 1440p on youtube so you can see me a little bit clearer it's so like when I start sweating in 1440p, I start sweating. You can actually see the little drops of moisture on my mustache. It's fucking incredible. Um, yeah, Twitch is, uh, YouTube is just better than Twitch in every way. The only thing that Twitch has over YouTube is like the UI and all that's a little better, but. Um, okay, we've got Caribidus Tyrannos. activate that i'm gonna go ahead and get t2 ammo loaded because these cruisers actually i should probably not fly is that a speed cloud tell me that's a speed cloud let me go for that speed cloud all right let me go ahead and overheat the prop mod real quick maybe i'll get in that speed cloud before i get scram webbed oh there's no scrammers never mind i'm good i i just looked and i was like yeah there's got to be scrams where's karen karen's over there all right get me in the speed cloud so i can like slingshot my way all right boom there we go slingshot my way over to karen hell yeah slingshot maneuver worked that was beautiful oh not another damn speed cloud seriously come on man this is just immature two speed clowns All right, thank God that rock saved me from potentially plummeting out of the abyss. Karen, I need you out of the speed cloud right now. So let's figure out where we need to go and let's get there together. All right, you and me. Yeah, I cannot have this gigantic bitch in a speed cloud right now. I'll, uh, I'll look at chat in a second. I just really need to get. Ooh, blue cloud over there. That could help. Yeah, let, let's get you to the blue cloud. I feel like feel like you and me have a little bit more fun in the blue cloud, right? Okay, let's stop the ship right there. That should be out of the speed cloud. Nope, still in the speed cloud. Cool. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I have no sense of direction. I want the blue cloud. Let's get to the blue cloud. Okay, now we're just freaking going around like a psycho over here. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, go faster. Holy shit, what's going on? Why is my ship not turning around? All right. We've got some absolute shenanigans. Can I even get her to that blue cloud or is that just a pipe dream? There's way too much cloud action going on in here. Karen, how fast? All right, she is not in a speed cloud right now. All right, and she's heading straight for a speed cloud. We got to make her take a hard right turn because there's a speed cloud directly ahead of her. And if she gets in that thing, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, 
Karen. Hard right turn, please. Hard right turn. There's a speed cloud. We do not want to go that way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, go that way. There you go. Scooch on over. All right, we're going to take you back to the blue cloud because that's going to make everybody a little bit happier. Yeah, back to the blue cloud you go. So now I need to fly this way to the blue cloud, to the blue cloud. Do, 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 do. All right. Overshot a little bit. I think as of, as it stands right now, I am clear of speed clouds. I don't have to worry about that nonsense, but I just made Karen take a hard right turn away from the direction I wanted her to go. So that's, that's just great. All right. Keep going that way. We're 40 kilometers off the gate. I hope you're happy. Yo, Sniper, you know what I really like about YouTube? So I started streaming here like three months ago. If you go on my channel, like every single live stream I've done since June is still on YouTube. And it's still, you can like, it, it's all there. Like, I, I just love YouTube so much for a lot uh, a lot of different reasons. Yeah, the, the ad situation on Twitch is cancerous. The VOD staying up on YouTube is great. The 1440p is great. Good God, Karen. Come, all right. We're, I'm, at this point, I've got one room left. Holy shit. I got to overheat. What am I doing? All right. Let's just approach Karen. Let, let, you know what? Let, 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 we're going to... We're going to approach Karen, get these cruisers in range of Karen. I have severely screwed the pooch on this one. Doesn't Twitch do that? The ads are so ass. Not the ads on Twitch, right? That's why I can't stand Twitch, dude. Like even as the streamer, if I turn the ads off, you still get like Twitch will still throw ads at you and they're not skippable. You have to watch like 30 seconds worth of ads, non-skippable. And I'm like, yeah, that's stupid. Like the whole reason why I switched from Twitch to YouTube was because all the streamers I like, I don't watch Twitch streams. I only watch YouTube streams, but I was streaming on Twitch, even though I personally was only watching YouTube streams. So I was like, okay, why would I stream on Twitch if I personally would rather watch YouTube? So that was kind of like my big aha moment. Like, yeah, why don't I just stream on YouTube? Because I know like, you know, I'd rather watch a YouTube stream. Then why would I stream on Twitch? That's just me. Everyone has their preferences, but I like YouTube way better. It's superior. All right. 140 million. Hell yeah. And I'm going into the final room with seven minutes, 22 seconds. So if there's a potato in this room, I am dead. Oh, thank God. Whew. All right. Catastrophe avoided. And there's a deviant suppressor. The abyss loves me. Woo. All right. Let's go get in range of that short range deviant automator suppressor here. What is this? You're not what I wanted. Short range deviant automator suppressor. Woo. The abyss is smiling upon me right now. Oh my God. This is almost really bad. All right, let's just go for that and just keep electricity on all these little dudes. You have a lot. Oh, you have a lot of HP. I'm going for you. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful, man. All right. The abyss has smiled upon me today. Look at that. All right. What we got? 50 million is all right looking at 230 million is in just over 15 minutes or wait just under 15 minutes rather 
Hell yeah. Yeah, it's much more easier to find. Um, it, it's so much easier to find old streams. Like Twitch deletes them after a while. But like, like on YouTube, you just go to my live section and you can scroll down and see every stream I've done in the past three months. I forgot my drones and gilas. Nothing like staring at the potatoes. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing you died because you're... Oh. Pre-flight checklist is super important, by the way. I love those ones with the espresso and it one shots them off, dude. I did a Lashak, a Lashak room earlier. The Lashak room took me 45 seconds. A minute total from start to finish, but 45 seconds. For a few minutes ago. Shit, Abyss wants me dead. The Abyss has a way. By the way, what's up, Basilis? How you doing, dude? Uh, the Abyss has a way of screwing you and then coming back to give you a hug. Not like the good screwing you, but like the, you know, kicking it. The, the Abyss likes to kick you in the balls and then come back and give you a hug afterwards. That's, that's kind of how that works. Praise the sun. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. All righty then. Let's see. One of those. How much do I have in loot now? 1.54 billion is over two hours and 25 minutes. Ah, you got the flu, dude. The flu, like all that, all the sickness is going around, man. I've noticed a couple people I've talked to in the past couple days, the stuffy noses, the store, sore throats. Like it's that time of year where it starts cooling off and people start getting sick. I know like the other day my throat started to feel a little eh, but um I thought I was getting sick, but I'm good. But I know it's gonna hit me. Ever cool, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see you, dude. It's usually because I've got to recall the drones when I finish a room. I got too focused on the caches. Oh man, number one most important priority, surviving and making it out alive. Number two, getting the loot. Hey, Sniper, did you see about Eve, uh, CSP, the first person shooter? Tell me you saw that news, right? Went to FanFest, got small sinus infection, missed all the Rona though. Yeah, I know. I've seen a, a few people got the Rona from FanFest. How was FanFest, dude? Did you enjoy it? Stop looking strangers. Hey, how about you stop telling me what to do, damn it? I'll lick those strangers if I want. <laughs> Do I think the new Garista's Destroyer in its current state? No. Like, it probably could do Abyssals, but for its price tag and what it can do, you're better off using anything else. Like, you always got to look at ships in the Abyss. Like, even if they can do the Abyss, should they do the Abyss, you know? Like, that's, that's the kind of a mindset... Like, um, a perfect example of, um, of what I'm talking about is the Kikimura. Yes. The Kikimura can possibly do up the T2s or no, the, the Draugr, not the, the Draugr really cool ship. You'd think it'd be amazing. It can only go up to T2 max or the worm. The worm's another example. Why use a worm when you could use something for like, a fourth the cost that's just as, just as if not more effective, you know? So I think the new Garisa's Destroyer, I think, yes, it could do Abyssals, but it's not like you're better off using a whole lot of different stuff. Are they finally doing some dust? So what they're doing, Sniper, the first person shooter, it's going to be like, it's basically Escape from Tarkov, but Eve flavored. And it's going to be interact. It's going to interact with the game with Eve. Yeah. They're doing a, uh, uh, basically escape from Pochvin or escape from Zarzak. Like it's called E Vanguard and it's going to be an extraction PVEVP game. Oh, of course I've got this freaking little damn Vic left with full HP. You had the best time ever. Was that your first event or have you been to it before? Because I don't, I don't think we've met before in real life, have we? 
The Grease Destroyer is just a worm with bigger sig, making it easier. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, and you gotta you gotta consider the price tag. Dual Draugr's work though. Yeah, but the price of Dual Draugr's, you're better off doing like, like okay, if Dual Draugr's can do T4 Firestorms, that's great. But for a fourth the cost, I could just do Jack Dolls, you know. So it's like you're risking a lot more with Draugr's, even though they work. Um, you're risking a, a lot more. It was your first time. Dude, how much fun did you have? How amazing was it? Like, tell us about your experience. Oh, expecting a call. Oh, gotcha. I was about to say, tell us about your experience, but come on. You answer that call. Okay, we're good. All right. But yeah, the uh, the new E first person shooter game is bit yeah, good call. Um, the new E first person shooter game is basically Escape from Tarkov. It looks so damn good, dude. Drank so much. Oh yeah, alcohol intake at any Eve event is at an all time high. Woo! Here we go. All right, tell me these two. All right, these two are next to each other, so I'm gonna go for them. All right, we've got the correct ammo loaded and let's unload on these guys. All right, I need to grab these extraction nodes real quick. Oh shit, get back. All right, let's go ahead and pop that. Keep approaching that. And get that. Damn, I just reminded, remembered something. I need, I need to get a haircut today. Holy crap. What time is it? it is one o'clock. All right, I've got, I've got time. I've got time for like one more solid hour of streaming before I got to get out of here. All right, keep popping these guys like crazy. Adaptive cash. Let's go for it. These guys are dropping like flies. I love it. All right, let's pop that on. Get that going. Um, screw it. I'll go for the plate forgers. Why not? Hope you know I cry every time I remember I used the Iki skin you gave me 60. Holy shit, it's worth that much now? I thought with it dropping in like the daily skins, I mean, I know it's really rare to get, but I thought it with it dropping in those, um, you that being a potential drop, I didn't think it'd go up that much. Holy shit, it's worth that much? Good God. In regards to T6 Stormbringer, how come you are not scared shitless at the Overmines? I... The overmines are absolutely like I've I've had a few run-ins with them today and it's been a little close every time. But as long as I don't get two in a row, which is extremely unlikely, we're good. Yeah, the only yeah, like Benjamin said, the only two battleships I'm really afraid of is Karen and Overmind. Yeah, you can get that um yeah, the Vegas skin. So you know when you Okay, we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to get it done in record timing. Why does this keep happening to me? Like, what did I do specifically? Why me? This is pretty god dang ridiculous if you ask me. I'm seeing a record number of these today. Uh, ready then? Ooh, I'm gonna check my stocks real quick. Let's transfer a little. I'm gonna do another. For money. Good. Hold on 
one second. I don't know if any of y'all are in the stock markets, but I am. And right now is a really good time to buy a couple stocks I've been keeping an eye on. So I need to. Uh, and that. All right. I love it. My phone notifies me when stocks drop to a certain price that I'm looking for. Oh, that's so good. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, sniper. So from the daily login rewards on the days where you get a purple, which is very rare, like it only happens like one a month or one every two weeks or something crazy. Um, the purple skins that you can get from the daily login, there's a chance of those skins from the world tour event dropping in that. Like I've gotten the, uh, on one of my ults, I've gotten the meat grinder skin for the Kiki or for the Draugr. Um, oh yeah, I did talk trash about CCP. That's probably why I'm seeing a record number of potatoes today. Ran about 30 to this, 30 abyssals this week and got 14 Karen rooms. And God, Karen has been out in force, huh? Keep in mind, it's probably less than 1% chance to get it from the daily. Yeah, it's very rare. But as time goes on, you have a better chance of getting it because you can only like, it's not going to give you the same skin over and over. So every time you get a purple, if it's not that skin, your chance of getting up, getting it just went up. They did give some out at FanFest. Damn, really? Oh, dude, if I get two overmines, I'm guaranteed dead. Don't do options. Options. Tra I don't do. I just buy. Um, I just buy stocks. I don't. Oh, options. So I, I don't have it set to buy. I, I just wait till a stock hits a certain price. And then once I see it hit that price, I look at it and if it keeps falling, I'll wait and I'll just buy it. But yeah, stock trading. I love it. It's a little addiction of mine. No, you can't get repeat skins from the daily. You should put on semiconductor on your stock watch list. I have what's the, I have one company. I forget what it's called. Semiconductor, especially the American based companies. Seems to be stated that you cannot get when they added to though. You the the house you own skins? Um just curious what stock fell. Uh VYM. It's a Vanguard index stock. Um Yeah, VYM. Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. I've been trying to pump money in. I I this one, this is one of my like long-term stocks. It's not one I'm trying to like, you know, buy low now, sell high later. VYM is one of my long-term stocks that I'm basically like, it dropped below 103 or 104. Just saw the number and I forgot. Oh, it's called On Semiconductor. Is that an American-based company? Um... Yeah, VYM, it's a Vanguard High Dividend Yield Index ETF or whatever. Um, like, I've got a couple stocks that I play with that are like, oh, hey, it's this price. I'm going to buy it low, sell it high. You don't really make too much money from that because it's not like I'm like rich or anything. But I've got a couple stocks that it's like, yeah, it's got on semiconductor. Let me look that one up. As far as I know, Rock. If you, oh, this is the final room. Cool. Um, as far as I know, Rock, if you get the skin one time, you won't get it again on the same character. Like, okay, one account, three characters. I'm pretty sure. If, oh man, I, I'm on NASDAQ. Let me see. On semiconductor. Do my research here. Let me see. Oh, it's called Owen. Ooh, it's okay, it's 
dropped down a little bit in the past week it went up to it went from 94 and dropped all the way down to 89 at one point damn Owen on Nasdaq. Kiki has very beautiful skins. Kybernaut Clay is a shame it's not there for other Dragavians. How do you get that skin? I I feel like all the extremely rare, like the world tour skins, I feel like I've only gotten them on my alts. Like, I got the meat grinder skin for the Draugr on one of my planetary interaction ults. All right. You know what? Screw it. I've got time. I'm going to go for both of these extraction nodes real quick. All right. Might as well, since I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and reload that. Yeah, I don't remember how to get that one. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think the Kybernaut skin, I think it's the Triglavian LP market, if I'm not mistaken. The Kybernaut Clades. How much time do I have left? All right, six and a half minutes. I literally have no fears of time in this one. I'm going to go ahead and switch to T1 ammo, just in case this guy gets out of range while I'm looting these. Nine million right there. Dangerous. What's up, man? How you doing? I just put my kids' money in the stocks, not college fund. That's a good idea. Like, especially if you're doing like, you know, you're not doing like if you're doing ETFs and stuff like that. Like long-term stocks, not like, oh, let me buy the stock low, sell it high. I feel like as long as you do it in like ETFs and stuff like that, you're good. I think that's what I might do for well, I'm just gonna like for my first kid, they're getting my military college benefits. but that's a good idea just put it in an etf that way it just makes money over time all right so i'm walking out of this one with 149 million isk did i say ets etf echo tango foxtrot eft efts holy crap Oh my God, is it EFT, I'm EFTs or ETFs? What's it called? ETFs, ETFs. I don't know what I said. Oh, not bad, been moving IT equipment for work for charity, 91 PZ and 200 monitor. Damn, that's a lot of freaking hardware there, dude. 91 computers. Yep, ETF. Was I saying EFT before? Sorry, dyslexic. Dyslexia gets me every time. <laughs> All right. What time is it? It is 1.09 p.m. I got to leave at 3 p.m. to uh, technically 2.45. I got to leave because I got to go. I'm setting up at a county fair for the next couple days to do some recruiting for the Air Force. All right, what are we at? So after two hours and 42 minutes, I'm at 1.6 billion isk. All right, if I get like two more sites in that are just like through the roof income, I'd be so happy. If I could break 1 billion isk an hour, I'd be happy. Which means I just need 400 mil in the next 18 minutes. I made a shitload of money out of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ah, the crypto stuff. I was mining Ethereum with GPS at some point. Made enough to stop working, but the wife wants me out of the house because I drive her insane. Damn, you were a Bitcoin miner, huh? That's a good problem to have. The fact the wife wants you out of the house because you're there too much. Like, I always like, I dream of, I, I have nine years until I retire. And I've been like dreaming of that. But I'm like, dude, would I be bored sitting home all like I don't know if I want to keep working when I retire 
or if I want to get a new job or if I want to stay home and just live off my retirement. But I'm like, man, if I just, if I stayed home, I feel like I'd get bored. Like, I feel like I would need maybe like a little part-time gig or something. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if I stayed home, I'd get bored. But I got nine years to figure that out. Okay, we're starting off with Caribbean Tyrannos. Because why the hell not? I'm going to go ahead and get Electro Punch loaded. Probably shouldn't have done that. Ooh, okay. A lot of Null Warps and Entanglers. So here's what I want to do here. I want to fly this way. I want these guys to get in range a little bit faster. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and overheat my prop mod and hopefully escape their grasp. All right, the webs caught me for a second, but maybe, just maybe. All right, there we go. All right, Karen, come here. We got these two dudes left. Never mind. We don't have those two dudes left. All right. Dude, you know what's funny about that sniper? I had a buddy that um, I actually had a buddy that did that. He did 20 years in the Air Force. He retired. And I ran into him at Walmart and he was stocking shelves at Walmart and I was talking to him. Turns out the dude was just bored. He was like, yeah, I, I was sitting around doing nothing for a couple months and realized I needed something to get me out of the house on a daily basis. Cause I didn't like just sitting there doing nothing. And so he got a job stocking shelves at Walmart. Didn't do it for the money. Like, you know, it's not that it's like, it doesn't pay that good, but he literally just did it because he was bored. And needed something to get out of the house for but he didn't want a job where it was like demanding or tough or like where he had to answer to anybody he was like yeah i can just tell my boss to go screw himself whenever i want and leave if things get bad did you go out with the dog or to train on the dojo daily yeah anything something to keep you busy Yeah, I've got nine years and I don't know what I'm going to do when I retire. It sounds like it's, I, I guess it sounds like the dream though, like retire and then just get some part-time gig where I'm doing like 20 hours a week, just so, just so I have something to keep me busy and to complain about. And, you know, nine years goes by quick man it goes by quick all right this is the first room right yes it is all right i need to pay attention here and get karen to the loop all right karen come here i'm gonna drive your big ass to the loop all right Going this way, Mike Warp Drive off. This should get her. Okay, maybe one more cycle of Mike Warp Drive this direction. That should get her going directly towards the loot, I think. All right, Karen should be headed towards the loot. I think I overshot a little bit. Let's go back this direction. I'm going to pop the prop mod and then stop the ship right there. That should put me almost directly in line. All right. That's a good trajectory right there. I'm going to just bypass her and go get the loot. She's not going to get very far. Plus she'll be dead before she gets out of range. And approach that. 
loot that. 39 million. That's not going to cut it for what I want to get. Uh, own a business. No, nah, I don't want to own my own business. I wouldn't want to do that. I don't know what I would do. But yeah, I don't want to own my own business because like after 20 years in the Air Force, I, I want something like I don't know if I'd want to do something that's like stressful and busy, you know, like my buddy that got that job stocking shelves in Walmart after retiring from the Air Force. Like that's the ultimate. Just sh all you do is stock shelves like, you know, it's not like you're going to, you know, and if it gets too stressful, you got your retirement money. So screw it. Quit. <laughs> You have a good. Hey, I have less. I used to have 400 million is worth of ammo in my ship, okay? It used to be a lot worse, so I've gotten a little bit better. Owning your own business is harder than being employed. Yeah. That's why I'm like, okay, if I retire, I definitely don't want to own my own business. Like, after 20 years of a career, I want to chill, man. Like, I don't want to be a boss. I don't want to be a manager. I don't want to be any of that. I want to get a nice, chill, relaxing job. And just enjoy my life. All right. Would really, dude, if I can get 400 mil. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait. I'd be at 2 billion, -ish, not 3 billion. Okay. I will not be at a billion -ish an hour. Never mind. I did that math. I, wow. I, I, Math is not my strong suit, fellas. I own two companies and it's a huge pain, but it's worth it. See, if it was like, if I didn't have, you know, if, if I wasn't, you know, because I'm going to be collecting a pretty paycheck for my retirement. Uh, but if I didn't have that, yeah, owning a business, but it's so much work and God, I'm going really slow. Like after a 20 year career and collecting a paycheck every month for the rest of my, Ooh, 109 million. Okay. What does that put me at? 148 million. That could almost put me at 2 billion esque. Honestly, something I have not calculated into how much I've made today. Filaments. I have no idea how many filaments I've only been calculating how much loot I've gotten from the day based off all the stuff at the bottom of my inventory. Because when I started, I didn't have any of that. About playing Eve and getting paid for it. Wait, it's not work if you like it. Think about playing Eve and getting paid for it. Getting paid to play Eve. You still love and hating your recruiting job? Dude, it's the best worst job in the world, recruiting. Like, it has the highest highs and lowest lows. Like, oh my gosh, dude. I went to, so last Saturday, normally I don't work Saturdays. I try not to work Saturdays, but there's a veterans event last, last Saturday. And I went to it from 8 AM to 3 PM. I had a little table set up and that made me hate the job. Like I sat there from 8 AM to 3 PM and I did not get a single person. There's like five people that came up to my table and they were all like 80 years old and served back in like Vietnam. And it was the most unproductive thing I've done to date in my two years of recruiting. And it was miserable, but I also do some cool fun stuff. Like yesterday I went to a physical event at a college and got to hang out with the other recruiter. Oh, wow. That's a lot of Ed max. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and overheat. Electro punch. Oh, no. Starving Ved Max. That's what I need to do. All right. We've got five Ved Max. This is going to be a little bit of a pain. I just did a wormhole shenanigan. So my C5 was connected to a high sec and another C5. So adventure came from high sec. That's one went to the other. So I had to close that wormhole and he lost. <laughs> You just caused some poor little venture to be trapped in wormhole space as you close the wormhole behind him. You freaking bully, dude. Oh, that's rough. You close the wormhole on him. Holy shit, man. 
Uh, but yeah, I guess scared. That's a good way to look at it. If you enjoy what you do, is starving really an issue? Whenever you have three starvings, yes. Like, I mean, not that, like, as it stands right now, no, they're not an issue. But if I did not focus on them and I let them run, like, look at my cap right now, you know? Like, my cap is at 40%. If I did not focus on these starving uh, Vedmax, I'd, they would cap me out. So, they're an issue if you let them be an issue. And then not only that, but the uh, the damage from them. Like, look at my shields, look at my cap. If I did not focus, burn them down, I'd be in trouble. But because I'm overheating on them and burning them down, I'm not letting... Because they ramp up a lot. Um, Their damage can get pretty insane. So that's why it's important to... Like, I, I've definitely screwed up in the abyss before where i did not take vedmax seriously because i'm like oh i'm in an electrical and my tank is amazing um but that mindset will get you killed all right i'm just gonna pop that guy because he's gonna oh you know what? i'll pop both of these real quick since they're low why why not and the anchoring but yeah at this point i have nothing to worry about yeah even though you're an electrical always take care because if you think that you're safe just because you're an electrical that could put you in a really crappy position and i've learned that the hard way all right now i just gotta go to the loop finish these guys up dude if i can get something really good so right now i'm at 148 million isk from this site Dude, if I can get a capital mutaplasmid from this right here, like an unstable capital mutaplasmid, oh, I'd be so happy. All right, both these Vedmax almost down. And boom. All right, one more shot on him easy as that all right then just gotta take out this tangling and we are good to go you know the good news about this 15 million uh, good news about this though i'm almost at 2 billion isk in loot that'd be a nice little i think it, i think 2 billion isk is enough for me to do a jump freighter haul full of stuff to faction warfare low sec to restock my faction warfare action when you have your own business you eat what you kill period the money you make is dependent on the work you put in yeah my uh my wife started her own business and she had to like close it down because we moved states and everything and the licensing and whatnot was all weird but her running her own business really showed me how things worked and like exactly like you get what you get what you put into it like a normal job where it's not your business you work your set hours and it doesn't matter what happens like if you work eight hours you get paid that eight hours but whenever it's your own business you don't work you don't get like if you don't put the work into it to build it up and there's going to be a time period with your own business depending on how you do it you're going to be in the red for a long time or not a long time, but you're, it's not like you start a business. You immediately you're seeing green. Um, it all depends on what you're doing and whatnot, but yeah, seeing my wife's business, like she invested like 10,000 in a, in a business and starting up her own business. And she only ran it for a year before air force moved us. And she had to basically put it on pause um but yeah she invested like ten thousand into that business something crazy like that I, it was her finances i didn't really pay much attention to it but that's like a rough estimate and um like after a year of running she was doing it on the side so she was working a normal full-time job while doing this little side gig invested ten thousand after a year she probably only made like a thousand back 
So it's like, damn. Like, and now obviously, like I said, again, she, you know, it was a side gig that she could just do passively, like while focusing on her career. If she had done it full time, obviously it would have been better off for her. What do I need? I need hard shell and that get repair quote and move on. The shit part is that nobody guarantees you get paid when you work for yourself. You might put in 2,200 hours and fail. You, you get nothing or worse than negative. Yep. Yeah. That's why like when I, when I retire in nine years, man, I am, I am not starting my own business. I'll, I'll get a nice little side job, little part-time gig. All right, let's keep it going. That's not a good return, but most business start that way. I started mine 11 years ago, put in 17 hours a day. See, and that like, she did not start her. Oh, wow. I'm not warping. She like, she works full time. She has a really good job and whatnot, but she wanted to start her own business, basically selling clothing. Um, So all of her, like all the money she invested, it's in boxes on the other side of this green screen behind me. And it's not, it's not like, it's not like that stuff goes bad. But she was literally just doing it like she had an online store. People would place orders and she would ship the ship the, you know, someone placed an order. She goes and ships it out. So it's a very like passive part time gig. It's not like, you know, she invested 10K in it with the hopes of, hey, this is the you know, this is what I'm relying on. Her plan was to keep working a normal job and to eventually have that be built up enough to where she could quit her normal job and be making bank off of that, you know? What drugs? I have hard shell and blue pill, synth blue pill, but those are only like, I I only use them. Like the only reason I popped them an hour ago was because I had six Eden Com cruiser or uh, battleships candle making. Nah, she was, uh, she was selling clothing, selling clothes. Um, it's a little thing. She just like, she always wanted to have her own little boutique. Um, and she did really good at it. Like for the year that she operated, she did incredible with it. Like I was really, you know, she was making sales and whatnot. Um, you know, the investment really the big, you know, $10,000 invested really, it was just all in inventory. Like, yeah, she needed like office supplies, like packing material and stuff like that, licensing and whatnot. But yeah. She just, she started her own online boutique with the plan of doing a storefront. But then, yeah, we, we had to move to a different state because the Air Force and it kind of she was unable to focus on it after that. Rather unique automotive lubricants engineering. OK, something like that. That's like real business stuff right there like that. Like my wife, you know, that, that's like real self business stuff. All right, Titan. Hey, thank you again so much for those small shield boosters, dude. I appreciate that. That I'm going to use the hell out of those for sure and hopefully not die too quickly in them. But I appreciate it, man. Catch you later. Take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one. Boutique sounds good. That might be a good retirement venture. That, I mean, that's my... I Honestly, dude, when I retire, I might just sit here. Like, I, I'm never... Streaming for me is never going to be about income, revenue, any of that stuff. But when I retire, I might just stream full time. I don't know. I design and market engine oils, hydraulic fluids, transmissions. That's really cool, man. See, that's something like very unique, specific, and like definitely high demand. So no damage drugs work on the Stormbringer. Um, like not even Pyro Pyrolancia works on the Stormbringer, which is unfortunate. So that's why I only bring uh break out the hot tub. Yeah, there we go. I could just start my OnlyFans and all that. Get some hot tub action going. That's not a bad idea. That'd be pretty easy to do. Write people's names on my belly when they give me money. I could do that easily. Yeah. Damn, 
Damn, you got the casino skin on your PI account. Dude, I'm right there with you. I got the freaking meat grinder skin for the Draugr on one of my PI alts. And I'm just like, no, like why? Oh yeah, that those random skin drops, man. They're really awesome, but they can also bite you in the ass. And you can't even sell it or trade it or anything. Like it's stuck. Stuck on that account. So is there like a way to calculate what you need to close wormholes or is it a guess? That sounds so advanced. I'm not missing. Dude, you and me both. I know there is a way to calculate it and people know exactly what they need to do to close a wormhole. I don't know that info. Like I am a complete worm wormhole noob. No clue how that stuff works. Like I can scan stuff down, but I don't know like all the details of wormhole life or any of that, any stuff like that. One oil we finished this week, testing done, ran 40,000 miles and the 225 test F350's diesel and still good. Dude, you're doing like, that's an awesome business, man. That's really cool. That's a, sounds like a massive business, honestly. Last week I got all the white ones for Redeemer and another PI account. The white ones for the Redeemer. I'm trying to think of what those skins are called. Yeah, T6 Stormbringer. So far, I've been at it for three hours and five minutes, and I've had no issues. Came close a few times, but making some good money, no real issues. Can I post a link? Honestly, dude, I don't know if you can post a link or not. I don't know. I guess I'm still trying to figure out YouTube. Try and post the link and let me uh, tell me what it says. Technically, you could transfer onto your alt account. Can you do that? No, you can't do that because no, I think it's stuck on your account, right? Purity. Oh, purity of the thrones. That's what it is. Okay. Depends on the wormhole type and message it displays. Closing wormholes is not hard. Or requires math is um do we end up in the right side or not? On the uh Okay, hold on, sorry, let me let me get my shit together here. Alright, Kiki Morris. I'm just gonna focus on those first. Are these extraction nodes close? They are. I'm going for them. Never mind. There's two anchoring Damavex. Damn it. So you have to do it right. Okay. So there's a lot of info. And if you don't do it right, then you end up on the wrong side of the hole and you basically screw yourself. All right. I need to get a lecture punch going. That image is with battleships in mids. Wait, I don't see no. Did, did it tell you anything when you posted the link? Cause I don't see any link in chat. Made an in this summer, basically broke all the test machine. We had to calculate limits on pressure, temp, and shear. Dude, that sounds like fun. Like all the testing and everything you guys do? That actually sounds like science and shit. That sounds pretty cool, though. See, that's something. I mean, that. I don't even know what it would take to do all that, but you've done it successfully, like. You can, uh, you can, you have to use the website, I think, to do a forum post for sound your character to your alt. Oh. Nope, didn't say anything, but didn't post a link either, just text. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to allow links in chat. I don't really know how to do that. It's a lot of fun. Dude, it does have fun. You like, you're testing, like, you guys are designing and testing stuff, seeing what works. And then like the best part about it all is you're making money from it. Like that's pretty damn cool, man. All right, one more Rediva and then I can start popping away on these Damavix. All right, I need to kill the anchoring Damavix. 
So best deal of FanFest. I gave a man a taco. He gave you a 16 ounce beer. What a trade, dude. What a freaking trade. That is freaking awesome, man. Those freaking things in, things in Iceland are like I can go to the bar downtown of, you know, five minutes away from my house and I can get a beer for four or five bucks. Iceland, a beer is like ten dollars. If you end up streaming after you retire, please don't become as out of touch with Mar as Marky Dragon. I've tried watching Marky Dragon. I can't do it, man. Though the only streams of his I've ever actually watched were him doing like missions or mining. I don't know if he does other stuff, but I remember back when I first started streaming, I was getting an idea of like what I wanted my streams to be like. And I remember watching Marky Dragon and cause he had like 200 people watching and then I click on the stream like, oh man, this dude must be exciting, doing something crazy. And then you watch and it's like, he's mining in an orca. Like, I don't know if he does other stuff. I've never really watched him. I just know the few times I have watched him, it was very boring. And I guess, I don't know, people like that, no hate on him, but me personally, there's, it would, I, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I, I couldn't watch it and I could not stream like that. That would like, if I'm doing something boring, it's not going to make for good. Uh, I don't know if Marquis does other stuff. I, I don't know. I could be wrongly dissing on him right now, but I just know that a couple times I did watch his stream. It was like very boring. People get off on seeing that whole thing. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, there's a, I don't know what the effect of drops is in the Twitch category right now, but one of my fear, fear was with drops, there'd be, oh, that wasn't the final room. I thought I was done. Holy shit. Okay. Let me fix myself here. Um, yeah, one of my fear was with drops coming to Eve online was like, some really boring crappy stuff being at the top of the category in the you know top of the twitch category he's very laid back and just does his own thing see i i can't like i said everyone likes different things and i'm not trying to like hate on him or anything like that you know whatever works for him or whatever his people like watching i just know me personally i i like watching i i, I like interaction i like watching streams for action for something going on for interaction I can't watch like there's certain things I just can't watch on the stream and it's not just Eve specific. It's, you know, any game, but it's, there's gotta be something going on that, you know, I'm not saying like my stream's perfect by any means, but you know, I, I based my stream off when I first started streaming four years ago, I would literally go and watch other streams and be like, okay, what does this person do that I like? What does this person do that I don't like? And I learned from that and I would never stream mining just because I would hate to watch that and I hate and I yeah, I don't know. Try a T4 Fire Vagabond? Ooh, Fire Vagabond. That actually sounds fun. A Firestorm Vagabond. Alright, I need to overheat on these starving Vedmax. There are two of them. It's like how I can't watch Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama? What the hell is that? It's not, that's not the issue. He said lost in his own head that anything outside of his own little world has that ganking happens on him. He becomes insufferable. I can't speak much on that. I feel, I feel like, dude, I feel like some people, and I've noticed this with like, just, I, I feel like some people, they think that they're more than they are and they have such a big view of themselves and what they do. And I'm like, dude, just because you stream and people watch doesn't mean you're anything special or you're otherworldly or you're like above anyone. I, I've seen a couple of scenarios with like, not only in the Twitch Eve Twitch category, but there's other, I don't know, just from real life, from real life interactions with people or over the game interactions with people that like do streaming or content creation or videos. Some of the, some of them have this very weird fucking i don't know it's like they're like they're above 
everyone else is like, are you shitting me right now? And I feel like they're very disconnected. I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know. Marky dragon can't speak to that, but I just know some of the people I've experienced is like, okay, you have a very high opinion of yourself. Oh yeah. I talked to, uh, I'm, I'm in the final rune of the, of the abyss. So I don't have to worry about getting a potato for talking crap about CSP, but yeah, I, I've let CSP have it. <laughs> uh, I watch them pretty frequently and never seen that, but Hey, if it doesn't work for you. Yeah, exactly. And that's all, all streams are, you know, it's entertainment is subjective. It's not freaking, it's not like, Hey, this is entertaining. This is not obviously everyone has their own opinions and whatnot. Coming from someone who never ran abyss, is there any different in income jobs depending on types? Um, so right off the bat, electricals are the worst when it comes to profit because of the filament cost. Um yeah, electricals are the worst. Firestorms are probably the best because of their the cost of the filament and armor mutaplasmids are expensive. Um the corrupted oh tc yeah that dude was a jackass and a half man <laughs> uh speaking of streamers we had those if you can't afford five bucks of the sub you should oh my gosh dude yeah like that bullshit or streamers that set like one minute of ads or two or three minutes of ads on their streams it's like you think really highly of yourselves that you oh man i just this shit is fun. I like streaming. It's not it, I, some people, I, they think they're goddamn rock stars or movie stars from it. And it's freaking ridiculous. Oh man. I still remember him coding his site to reduce my points. Yep. Yep. He, uh, he came up with that MMR system, that mastery. Why firestorm? Because they're the hardest. Uh, firestorms are cheap because they're the hardest weather to run. Um, so Triglavians, they're armor based. Firestorms increase armor, and yeah, it's just it, it's a combination of things that make firestorm the most lucrative to run. Because you know more people want to run electricals or gammas. Um, I've left every channel that runs ads there and stream over the minimum ads. Yep, I. That's why I had to get off of Twitch, man. Like Twitch, their ad system is so garbage. Like I've turned ads off. Robert R. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Our storms are cheap because they take so long. Yeah. The, the increased armor hit points of all the NPCs, specifically Triglavians being harder to kill. Um, yeah. Firestorm is just a, a, there's a smorgasbord of reasons, but not sure if you remember, but even after you changed the MMR stuff, I was still number one and I killed him again and he reduced my points to zero. Dude, that dude was such the corrupted. He was such a jackass, man. He just thought he was the best and he pooped gold and yeah. I haven't seen that guy around in a while. I don't know if he's still doing his thing, but he's just, he's definitely one of those jackass mentalities when I, it, that I talk about when I talk about like streamers just having this like holier than thou attitude. So it's a good idea to start a business with dual box and joggers and firestorms. Uh, honestly, I, I spoke about this a little earlier. Joggers are not good. Joggers are not good for the abyss. Like you can do like you're better off running. Um, you're better off running darks and jackdaws just because the price of joggers the difficulty and whatnot, even though firestorms are better to run, joggers are in that weird area where to get a decent jogger, you gotta drop like five, 600 million isk in it to be able to run T3s or T4s. Whereas jackdaws, dude, you could run 80 million isk jackdaws and do T3s, T4s. You know, or I, those numbers could be a little wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier to run something cheaper because then if you if you die in the joggers you can be down over a billion isk out of two joggers but if you die in the jackdaws you can be down 200 million isk you know 
All right, so I've been at it for three hours, 18 minutes. And I've got 1.9 billion isk in loot from down here. I, I don't know why that's in the box. Um, 1.9 billion isk over three hours. And that's, so one thing that's not including, I've, let's see, do I have any T4? I don't know how many filaments I've gotten from the this past three hours. That's not calculated into it. And I think that's, I think I used 11 T6 filaments. Bro, what's happening here? The only thing I came here for was to watch seal clubbing and fact war battlefields. Dude, I want to, I want to stream faction warfare stuff and whatnot, but it's just so hard to stream it because like, I don't know. A lot of times it's just me capturing plexes or if I'm in a fleet, I can't exactly stream a fleet because OPSEC and all that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll stream faction warfare stuff eventually. But for now, like a lot of the stuff my lines does, it's like, I don't want to stream the fleet because that's like blatantly broadcasting Intel that someone can use against us. Um, yeah, it's hard to stream faction warfare stuff because like Abyssal's man, it's 20 minutes up to 20 minutes of action, short break, 20 minutes of action. Faction warfare stuff could be me running around, trying to get fights, running away from fights, trying to get people to fight me or just capturing complexes. So there's a lot of like idle time that I'm just like, eh. I want to hear more theory craft about O and I's Osprey Navy issues, eh? I do have me a couple of... I, I have uh, two different Osprey Navy issue fits that I, I enjoy. They're not the best for taking on like cruisers or whatnot. But man, you give me a frigate or a destroyer, I'll eat them alive. Tackle everything. I like the Caracal better though than O and I, just because of price. Like for the price of one fully fit O and I, I can get three Caracals and I'm good to go. And I can, you know, more potential shenanigans. You can buy me 20 Imperial Navy. I'm not, actually not flown Imperial Navy slicers. The streaming content and factual warfare can be up and down. Exactly. That's that's one thing where I'm like, I it would be cool to stream faction warfare stuff, but like say I'm sitting in a complex and I got five dudes jump in on me. I'm not gonna take that fight because I'm gonna die. And depending on what's going on. So I'm gonna run. And then say I find a guy sitting in a complex, like it's just the, the amount of action compared to screen time is very little and then obviously i can't stream fleet stuff or anything like that wait till there's a battlefield and just uh get something and go yeah i like i like watching abyssal content i like streaming abyssal content so that's why i like doing this and everything i'm doing today so all 1.9 billion isk right here every penny of that isk is going straight in the faction warfare ships for me to go explode by the way, here, dude, check this out. This is my Faction Warfare Alts kill board. That's how much action we're getting. And I'm not even playing that much. You watch way more pistols than you actually run. Get your ass in the abyss, boy. I'm going to need you to make one change for me if I'm going to vote you. What's that? What's that sniper? I would go with Iki Tursa um, hiding. I'd go with Iki Tursa ENI. Dude, I love the ENI. Rail ENIs for the for the win. Thank you, Fiend. I appreciate that, dude. Tor was just nervous about how dude actually look. This happened to me. Look at this shit. This happened to me on my faction warfare ult. I just died and just laughed and closed the game and was like, I need a breather. Actually, no, I think I joined a fleet right after that. I did not take the proper precautions and warp straight to a battlefield. And apparently there's a black flag fleet waiting on the gate and they caught me and annihilated me. Yeah. Demo, what's up, man? Like I beg for you to make pirate figures be able to enter plexes and pirate stuff as bad. I can't use worm in or a small advance or something. It's so bad that I can't use the worm. There's, there's advanced and there's Navy sites. Um, pirate frigates can't go into Navy sites, but they can go into advanced. 
most ganking people I've met are so shit. Like, I beg, please, like, a key mark can't enter a small event. Wait. Pirate frigates can't enter advances? Or... Yeah, I guess they can't, can they? I don't fly pirate shit. Dude, I like the fact that they can't. Because it's like... I... I kind of like it. Because it's nice, like... I think it'd be cool if there were sites, and I think we're going to see that sniper with the upcoming pirate stuff coming to Faction Warfare. But I think there should definitely be sites that don't allow pirate shit in it, and there should be some that do, you know? Kiki can enter a small advanced. Yeah, pirates can enter advanced, can't they? You can't go in the Navy, but I'm pretty sure pirates can get... Yeah, I'm pretty sure pirates. Why? Okay, there's the music. I'm pretty sure pirate ships can go into advances. They can't go in the navies. See, and that's where I think Sniper would be cool if they were like... And we don't know. With the new expansion coming out, there might be a site. I The, the pirate stuff is going to add... I mean, obviously, pirates are going to have more stuff happening with the, the new expansion coming out. I don't think Trigger's going to enter anything. I thought they could enter advances. I could be crazy. Trig ships can go in advances. Okay. Trig ship. So pirate and trig ships can go in advances. So in, if you're flying a pirate ship, you're locked to small, medium, and large advances. Trigs. Yuck. Um, the battlefields are only T1 or faction Navy ships. But the new pirate stuff, like November 14th. Damn, November 14th? That's like a month and a half away. Holy shit, we still got a while to wait. For some reason, I was like, yeah, it's coming up anytime now. But it's not till November 14th. Yeah, the new the new pirate Corax. It doesn't look the the angel destroyer looks badass. The pirate Corax and Pirate Drake. Eh. The alligator, that's what it's called. Um, dudes, I got to get going here. Uh, I got to get going. I got to get ready for an event here soon. Final tally after three hours of farming abyssals, 1.94 billion isk in this stuff right here. Guaranteed 1.1 billion in surveys. The rest of it is up to market demand. But that's a pretty good run. I've got enough to where... Holy shit, I've got a lot of shit blueprints. I've got enough to where I can go take this Vegeta and sell it all to get me some more ships for faction warfare action. Um, Then it's going to be November 14th. You're going to be like, wait, already? What's up, Ace? How you doing, dude? I am just now shutting down for the day. I got to leave my house in like 45 minutes to go get ready for an event. Um, Yeah, I'm setting up at a county fair. But I don't know when I'm going to stream next this weekend. The next four days are absolutely a no-go for me. I'm going to be so busy. I can't, I won't be touching Eve at all over the next four days. I'm working the county fair as an Air Force recruiter and hopefully getting some people to join the Air Force. So we'll see what happens. Um, Y'all, if you could do me a huge favor, the one thing I'll ask before I go, if you could like the video, that'd be awesome. I always appreciate that. Um, I've been working on a lot of shorts related to Faction Warfare lately, getting some story times and battle reports up there. So if you guys are curious about how the Faction Warfare stuff is going, Galen, Dow Mill's been kicking ass and taking name. I tell you what, uh, I've been having a ton of fun making those. Uh, but dudes, I appreciate the hell out of y'all hanging out, spending your Wednesday with me. Um, y'all need anything? You got any questions about the Abyss? Poke me on Discord. Uh, Discord is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, but yeah, I'll be around. I'll catch y'all later. Dudes, have a great rest of your day. Thank y'all so damn much for hanging out. And where the hell's that button at? Ah, it was hiding behind the window. Dudes, take it easy. I will see you.